It has been some time since we've seen this screen, huh? Except not at all because I, I, I did Galaxy. But I mean, it's it's been some time since we've seen this screen and I didn't have to suffocate my Switch under a cardboard box because I finally got my Switch repaired. Smile. I wonder what the, the poor fucking repair technician thought when they saw the profile Gay Luigi. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this came out today. Last night, technically. Um, but this is the first night that I had some free time to stream. And it was it was between this and Deltarune. But, uh, so I did a poll. And this went out by just a bit. Oh, this fucks. Also, first time booting, so you've got to let me know how the audio is. I might even turn it up right now. Yeah, how's that? Adjust brightness. Oh, no. I mean, it's already barely visible. I don't want to do it until it's, like, completely invisible. I'm fine with barely. If there's going to be dark things. Listen! Me uh, Metroid Prime was my first Metroid game. This is my first... 2D Metroid game. If Prime is any indication of how these games fuck with you in the dark, no shot am I making that pitch black. Did that did that head turn to face me? Metroid. A virulent floating organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after their world for, I'm sorry, their word for ultimate warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises, and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. That's yummy. X Parasite, a gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It could absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories. X parasites were driven not by emotion, but by an instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed extinct. Oh, this is like some cool, like, artwork. Look at that. The slime. Oh! This is, oh right, so this is like a recap of Fusion then. This is what happens in that. No. Samus, you're slime. You got a little, you, like, on your face. You got a little on your face. With no Metroid surviving on SR388, it became infested with the X, horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet, got infected, and almost died. Oh, that's cute. They got the little sprite art there. So many headphone jacks. The only thing that saved me was a vaccine created from Metroid DNA, which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately after I went to a Biologic Space Laboratory's BSL research station to investigate a distress signal. <gasps> there, I battled many powerful X-forms, including the SAX, which is the X mimicking me in my pa- Th Samus Aaron X! Oh! I've heard people talk up SAX so much in Fusion, and it, it just clicks for me why that is, which was the X mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X-Menace on SR-38 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories. Or so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. <gasps> it showed an X, alive and in the wild. Thorough analysis proved the video was real. Although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. It was called ZDR, 
If the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven Emmy to investigate. Emmy? Emmy, you say? Hi! If you look, if you look like this, DM me. The Excelion Star Corporation. An Emmy is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible mobility and protective plating, made of the strongest stuff in the universe, practically guaranteed the mission's success. But not long after their arrival on ZDR, all communication was lost. What is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go there and find out. Is this what her suit design looks like post-fusion, or is this like like another new thing prior to the, the blue thing that we've seen in the, the trailers? There's so much that we've yet to learn! All this text exposition aside. But this is good for me because I don't know shit about any of the plot that happens in the other 2D Metroids. And Prime doesn't even matter. Like, barely. In, like, the larger overarching canon. Or at least from what I understand. <gasps> the HD rumble? T Siri? Wait, that's literally Siri's voice actress! Did they just, like, find, like, a sound bank and use her? That's a like classic iPhone 4S Siri. Oh. Well, that's a different one. I do love that voice a lot more. Lady. It's Siri! It's literally Siri! <laughs> Yo, Samus, get iPhone? All these other sounds are very cool. It's a shame that one st sticks out so much like a sore thumb. Oh, okay, she just looks like that immediately. It's all been explained. Maybe it was just the lighting. Maybe this is already how she looks. Whoa. Hey, who put this Gaussian blur on the screen? Wait a second. Is it a flash forward? Oh, this lighting is so cool, though. Oh, the glint of the eyes? Oh, shit. No, okay, I don't look blue yet. I think this is the present. But clearly I'm about to get fucked up if that was a flash forward. Oh boy. Is it is this the, the thing that I thought it is? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Whoa! Oh god! Wait, he's hot, but he's also cool? Fuck! Look at his giant fucking legs. I just got finished drawing Emmy Yaoi. Now I need this. And he's huge! And he's huger than Samus! They show this for like a, like a split second in the direct and I wasn't sure what I was looking at. But yeah, this dude's fucking awesome. God, I wish that were me. 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 Pull the fucking trigger, Piglet! Oh, he speaks. Look at those, like, eyebrow details. Anyways, that was sick. That dude's awesome. And then I got fucked up. Well, that's a lot of jumping around, but I guess I'm, I'm cool with that. 
So I got blasted and now I'm blue. He made me blue. Man, look at this first room. Oh, shit. Awesome. I really don't get why people say that this game doesn't look good. This is an awesome room! I like this place. Alright, so what's my pew pew button? Y? I'm using B and Y then. No charge shot yet. Okay. I've got 15 missiles. I've got $99. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Legs! It's like crawling around on like its knees. Okay. Look like the, the wetness. I'm trying to... Regarding the 360 aiming, I'm sure this will be explained, but... I feel like there should be a way to like... Stand in place and then aim. Because right now I'm moving and aiming, but I'm sure we'll get to it. Hi, creature. When tilting L to run, press ZL to slide. Oh. Kind of clean with it. Hold L to use free aim. Oh, that's how you do it. Now I know. So if I pew pew this. You've heard of Metroid Dread. Now get ready for Metroid Worry. Oh, I have a ledge grab. Okay. What was that? Ew! It's a little wriggling creature! Ah! Wait, oh, that's cool! You can do it, like, while holding on. And, you know, as much as I'd like to say that that's just a cool Griffin-specific observation, like, this is specifically what they're teaching you. It's just, oh, you have wall jump right from the start? That's unusual, isn't it? Wait, so if I... Oh, shit! I don't even need to ledge grab! Okay. What do you do? Ammo already at maximum capacity. Okay. Understood. Hold R to ready missiles and press Y to fire. So if I hold L and R together... Me! Oh, look at that hopping. But there's something over here, too. Hmm. I guess he can't really, like, do the slide in the air, can you? This stuff respawns fast, huh? Some destructible blocks are hidden. If you run into a dead end, try shooting at your surroundings. Striking some blocks with missiles may reveal how to destroy them. Oh, boy. I don't know if I've ever been a fan of, of stuff like that. Like, just non-telegraphed shoot random geometry, and then you get to go forwards. Maybe you'll understand the appeal now that I'm actually playing a 2D Metroid, but in concept, I've never really agreed with that. Everything here is so shiny. Me, I'm not going to look at anything regarding Metroid Dread. Also me. Hmm, time to watch Griffin stream. Oh, you've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. I cannot get enough of this voice. I've run a full analysis. This is like the I perfect choice. Why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Mm. Whatever caused these changes. But what does Siri mean for the lore? Most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. Oh, physical amnesia. Okay. That's your explanation. The Federation database against your video lock. It appears to have been a chosen. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. Yeah, isn't the fact that that dude is a chozo like like a big fucking deal? Like, aren't they all supposed to be like extinct? I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZDR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Precarious. Experience as you navigate upward. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas, shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. This is me when I talk into a fan. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. 
you may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your Metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Oh. Time and cold areas will be oh, because like, because like ice missiles hurt the Metroids. There are many such cold areas scattered on uh -oh. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. Oh, okay, so you get to save. You get to re learn a little bit at these places. Cool rooms. Plus to open the map, minus to open the options. Alright. I thought this was like a bad place, but that's just what the recharge stations look like. Okay. I guess the first thing that I would need is like a, like a charge shot so I can get to these rooms out to the side. That Chozo has appeared before in the series. Wait, really? That was probably not necessary. I meant to hold L. <laughs> ah, you gotta like do a little squat. Interestingly enough, you don't have to hold down to crouch. You just tap it and then you stay there. Still not charging enough. <sighs> Use a melee counter at the right moment to parry certain attacks and automatically take aim at the attacker. Press X to use your melee counter now. Okay. Parry enemy attacks with the melee counter by pressing X at the right moment. Got it. I heard that was like very contentious regarding Samus Returns. Like, it was, like, controversial. I'm very curious to see if they, like, changed how that works at all. Hmm. Oh, and it drops more items, too. Ah, I mean, this is, this is the... You're learning how to melee counter rooms, so I should probably be doing this instead. This game's got, like, really cool sound design so far, though. I'm liking how it sounds a lot. So, so how long has that Chozo been a part of the lore? You guys are telling me that there was a, a dude that massive in this series? Like, I would have started playing Metroid a lot sooner if I knew about him. I thought he was, like, a new character for Dread. Yeah, somehow I, I get the feeling that I did not need to preface the fact that I've never played a 2D Metroid. I think that just makes itself clear. Well, this is a new kind of door. Dash melee. Oh! That's, like, really well animated, too. I love this movement. That looks really cool. Yeah, the enemies are very funny. Since the last game released, I think. Well, th does that mean... Samus Returns, or Fusion? Arteria. Like the artery. If an area on the map is blinking, it indicates that a hidden item is there. Okay. Okay, well maybe this is a hidden item. Gross. Polygons? Oh, it's a missile tank. Cool! But wait a second. I don't have Morph Ball. Wait! Could I have always opened these doors? Well, this one's yellow and that one's orange. I don't know. Whoa! Since Samus returns. Okay. I like that you can tell that the... <gasps> Hold that thought. A little fucked up looking, but he's my type. Hi. An enemy's attack can be countered by pressing X at the exact moment of the flash. However, the timing is extremely difficult to gauge, making this a desperate maneuver. Ooh! God, that's so well animated. You got a slide? Oh shit! So it begins. Just close the door behind you, Sammy. Samus, classic Sonic fan. Hmm. 
<gasps> okay. I was just curious. Whoa. Oh, it's like a, like a little brain. It was like little bugs. Ooh. Me when I absorb the knowledge. I was about to say Samus Classic Sonic Man. Whoa. That's neat. The energy from the central unit transformed the arm cannon into <gasps> an Omega Cannon! Omega Blaster Online! <laughs> oh, my brain is so poisoned! <laughs> my brain is so poisoned! Whoa! Look at this, like, behind the back view. Hold R to charge the Omega Blaster. Once charged, press Y while still holding R to fire aimed at the core. Holy moly. Is it gonna make me hurt the Emmy? Is the Emmy gone? Okay, just gave up and went home. That's me when I see Griffin! Ah! Oh, it's not charged! Oops. Emmy in the minimap looks like a very fun phrase to say. Um, oops. All right, so I guess I'll, it, it's, it takes a bit longer to charge than that. I thought I was like overcompensating the first time around, but yeah, that flash. So it takes a good chunk of time for sure. So this time, let me hang out near the, the back of the room. Oh yeah, you don't even need to like get near it to trigger the door opening. He just shows up on his own. Ah, <sighs> bye, sexy. The Emmy is so funny. Oh <gasps> no! Damn. Attacks you with my Omega Beam? Omega Cannon depleted and offline? Reverting to regular arm cannon. It's beginning to look a lot like Yowie. Wait, so if that wasn't the charge shot, then how do I open the rest of these doors? Eh. Is it like broken? Have I been able to get through all of these the whole time? Am I just like stupid? Why? What's changed? Ooh. Look at the lighting in here. These statues? Whoa! Wow, this place is cool. Oh, it's a save room. But it's not a save lore room, unfortunately. We don't get the cool text-to-speech voice. Can I get that from down here? No. I guess it's like... Maybe connected later? Oh, I'm using R instead of L. I get the feeling that, uh... Yeah, see, this one doesn't open still. Okay. Liquid. Ooh, look at that! You can still kind of see, like, the... the hard... line where one body of water begins and the other ends, but that's kind of a neat puzzle. Why did I want to do that again? <laughs> I guess I can jump higher when there's no water, maybe? What do you think those taste like? Whoa. There's like a... There's like a film grain effect on a lot of the, um... the scenery in this room. Do you notice that? Why did it automatically open the map? What am I here to observe? Guess there's a, a glowing secret in this room. And this is yellow because they're save stations? Okay. Look like the the steam coming off of these platforms. Do you think that means that they're like they're too hot or too cold? I guess moist, I suppose. <gasps> now we're fucking talking! Let's fuck! Fucking go, baby! I don't know about you, but my Omega Blaster's back online! <laughs> God, the way it moves is so cool. You, you gotta, like, move or anything, or...? Okay, bye. Oh, it's kind of chasing when I start going up this way, isn't it? Uh-oh. 
Oh shit, we gotta race up to the top. Oh shit, I think the path is just intersected. Oh shit. Oh, oh no. Uh, I don't know where I'm going either. Okay, I think I'm safe in here. Man, animating that must have been like a really cool... Like, look at that movement. That's just neat. Yeah, if you look at like the the beams of light, I don't know how well that shows up on stream, but there's definitely like a film grain effect. So, uh, bye bye bitrate, long story short. I'll look like the ribs with a little bit of meat on it. <sighs> It was like a very satisfying like like a little of HD rumble when you do the wall jump it feels very good to do. Why'd you close the door? What? Maybe it's a missile door. Oh, I don't think it's a missile door. Maybe these are the charge ones that I thought the other ones were. I don't know. Yeah, nice try little fuckers from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. <gasps> Atom room. Oh, I love the how you can see like the neon effect on the armor, and the rest of the room is dark for a little bit. Uploading data. <gasps> There's Siri. Both enemy you encountered were clearly trying to capture you. They may have been hacked. If so, it's reasonable to assume all enemy will be hostile. Awesome. Enemy send out a pulse to detect vibrations in the air within a certain range. Essentially, they can hear you. Upon detecting vibrations, an enemy enters surveillance mode to track their source. Stay out of its line of sight when this happens. Otherwise, the danger to you increases dramatically. That is very SSD sexy of them. Will begin pursuit. Part of the pursuit protocol is to seal the enemy's own exits. You will be trapped inside. What? To survive, you must leave its range of pursuit. Evade the enemy and it will disengage. This will also unseal the exits. Oh no! I thought I could just leave whenever I wanted. I didn't know it locks you in with it. An enemy never leaves its assigned zone. Their control system must permit them to operate only within that range. All right. Well, they're they're establishing this rule now, only so that they can break it later. There's gonna be one that chases you out. I guarantee fucking tee it. I made a 99% probability of death if an enemy captures you. Awesome. There may be a very small opportunity to escape, but exploiting this window will be virtually impossible. The enemy are immune to your current weapons. You lack the unique energy used. The Omega the Energy. Enemy. Your only option now is to evade capture and find an exit. Oh, you hear that car? Shit, I guess so. Your highest priority in an enemy zone should be simply to survive. <laughs> Literally, I was looking at chat scene objective survive. Yes, please. Oh, there's like a lot of places to go from here now. This like really opens up. So many fancy looking doors. Okay, so this one is like definitely oranger. And you can't open it because of that. And then these ones are yellower. I thought I was just like seeing that. Because this one was like already open, I thought. But no, there's like definitely a difference. Okay. Ugh. Good slime noises in this game. The music's like picking up a lot here too now. That's very mean that I can't get that. Oh, look at that! Look at this! When you're like aiming up a ledge, Samus like puts her hand on the wall. I get the feeling that I'm going to like a lot of the, the touches with the animation in this game. There's a little Chozo Man down there. Oh, the film grain's back, baby. I'm gonna slide down this. Uh oh. Ice cap zone moments. I don't know where it is. This is the fucked up thing. Is that like I could accidentally just walk in its path at any moment and piss it off. And some of these doors, like I could be like cornered and it'll be like, oh, I'll go this way. And then it could be like a door that I don't have the stuff for. I hear the chirping. The sexy, sexy chirping. <gasps> oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. 
took me a second to realize. Wait. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. You were much further away when I went through that door. Uh, uh, <laughs> Wait, but this is okay, right? Because it won't be able to come through here. Maybe. Maybe. <sighs> you good? For now, I suppose. I guess you can, like, gradually open up- <gasps> How did you get in here?! Oh, shit! I didn't realize that there was a second thing to shoot. Metroid moments, Metroid moments, Metroid moments. <gasps> Whew! Whew! <laughs> I wasn't sure if the whole dread idea was gonna work for me. Like, I, I, I understand it in concept, but I'm like, mm, it's probably not going to be that scary. Nope. I'm a baby. This is going to be like those rooms in Metroid Prime that I hate, but it's the whole game. <laughs> now, there's something going on in there, but I don't think I can do anything about it for now. Oh, yeah, your jump height is definitely way lower when you're in the water. Look at that liquid. I love being able to, like, literally point at stuff on screen. When I want chat to look at something, that's a power. I had like a little laser pointer for my slideshow presentations. So far, so good, I guess. I feel like I'm leaving a lot of rooms behind, though. Like, these places are, are real mazes. I guess this kind of larger silhouette shows me exactly how much I've missed. This is, like, really huge for a first area. Oh, is that an energy tank? I love the way that looks. Oh, these are parry boys. You can parry while holding onto a ledge? Wait, hold up. This is so cool. There's just so, so much cool shit you can do. I don't know if I even consider this physical amnesia. Because I already kick ass, like, right from the get-go. Okay, but, like, later the ice cap zone moments, though. Or is it Labyrinth Zone? There, there's some area that I'm thinking of from one of the 2D Sonics where you just, like, go down slopes back and forth like that, but, like, forever. Metroid Dread. More like Metroid Bread. Now, listen, I know you're saying this in, in the... Is bread a pastry? What, like, genre of food is bread? It's not cake, but it's, like, it is something you bake. That's interesting. Anyways, remove the A for a funny surprise. This is, like, this is starting to give me, like, fucked up thoughts right now. Because the water transferring and balancing out between these two rooms, I don't think I can do anything in here for now. Um, maybe if I go back to that room, then having water in it will change something about it, so we'll, like, circle around. I think I brought this up during, like, fucking Pokemon Black or something, but, uh, I think it's called Delta P, and it's, it's like a safety training video for people who have to, like, dive into, like, big bodies of water to, like, repair shit, like, for dams or for, like, aquariums or pools and stuff like that. And basically, it's it's shit like that. Is that once you pull the plug, you're gonna get sucked in, and based on how much water there is, you just, you just literally can't move, and you'll run out of air, and you'll get stuck against the drain, and you'll drown. Delta fucking P. It is a baked good. Area map downloaded. Oh, nifty. Yes, please. This is a cool map room as well. I like the little like star patterns on the back. On the map, the yellow rooms are saving facilities. The purple rooms contain transportation devices. Nifty. It's such a fucked up video. Okay, so I'm not the only one who's seen this then. Yeah, it's a bunch of, like, 90s era, like, 3D animations of, like, little plastic people, like, wiggling underwater and drowning. It's like, yeah, the water was so murky, they never even found them until later. Just 
Samus is gonna have a Delta P moment. I promise you this. Okay, so now we're on the other side of the the Delta P room. <laughs> Robotnik's a Delta Penis! Isn't Delta P that annoying streamer? Ooh. They definitely ratchet up the film grain for these rooms. I don't know how I feel about that visual effect. Oh, fuck. I thought it was safe on that side, but it could just go over. <gasps> what, what, what? What do you do? Why? Huh? Just floats around? I guess just to fuck with you. I don't know if it's, like, surveilling me or not, because I, like, bonked it pretty hard back there, and it didn't seem to set off any alarms, but, uh... Guess I'll <laughs> keep that in mind. Water is spoo- <laughs> Uh, what do you mean I have to lose it? Wait, this is good because I got on its other side and now I can explore this room. Did I lose it? It should stay lost for a while at least. Holy shit! Cool shadows on that fan. Why?! Wait, if I just don't make noise- <laughs> into a room and is just already waiting there. <laughs> oh, you go back to the start of the zone. Oh, shit. Oh, happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> Knock it off! Let me out! Let me out! Why are you closed? Oh, you, you get two flashes to resist. Oh, I can kind of kick it, though. There's a lot of fail states for this. I thought he had two chances. That looked like two to me. Oh, fuck. This, this shit took off the training wheels fast, huh? Oh, so you can see the red dot even when it's like outside of your map. That's kind of neat. Ah! Oh shit, I got it, I got it, I did it! Get the fuck out of here, Emmy. Oh wait. This is so crazy! It can, like... It can... Even if you're not in the same room as it, it can pick a different door to go through to most suitably fuck you. I want to wait for the red dot. Okay, it's come through this way. See, now, now it won't head me off. This is why I kept getting surprised when I came through the doors. Because it can navigate rooms that you're not in still. Oh! <gasps> get soggy with it? Wait a second. I thought that was gonna, like, stop it, but I don't think it does. Oh. Okay. Am I safe in here now? I still don't really know what these floaty things do. Oh, maybe they are surveillance drones. I was expecting it to, like, maybe set off an alarm. But I guess it just gives the Emmy an update to your position very subtly. Hello, what do you do? Ah, okay. Heal stations, gotcha. I would like to, I would like for the Emmy to figure out how to most suitably fuck me. I'm, gl I'm glad we've got taste havers in chat tonight. I guess I can't really do anything in this room. Can I counter these? I guess so. But it doesn't really do anything. I gotta figure out how to ball. Is what I gotta do. Hmm. Whoa. What's it, What's this Metroid Blast Ball doing here? What? Oh, cold room! Cold room! I'm a little Metroid milk now. Oh, yeah, I probably should have clued in. Because you can see the other side of the wall and that it is cold. Hmm. 
the wall looks a little bit bla blastable, but I'm not sure if that's something that I would want to do if it's just all in no go zone there. Hmm. I can still wall jump off of these. I know there's, there's, I, again, I'm not super familiar with 2D Metroid, but those games just let you, like, wall jump off of the same wall endlessly, right? You can, like, you can reverse direction if you, like, let go of the stick and hold it back in a little bit sooner, but it's not enough to gain any height. Is that for all walls, or? Yeah, it seems so. You only get kind of diminishing returns. Well, I'm kind of stuck here, aren't I, then? I guess I can re-enter the Emmy zone. Actually, can I even? I don't know if I can. I guess there's something that I'm missing. Okay, knock it, you know what, knock it off, knock it off, knock it off. I'm like, low on energy right now. Maybe we'll actually hit that recharge station and, you know, use it for real this time. Thanks! So there's an upgrade over there. There's a cold room here. And a Metroid Blast Ball there. Well, did I try my missiles? Maybe it's a missile door. Oh, you hold R and then you do... Oh, okay! Missile door, gotcha. Oops. Oh, you don't even, like, need to wait for it to come to you. You can just kind of smack it whenever you please. Oh, hello. I know you. I know you guys. What do you have for me? Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about that rendition of the, the item theme, but now I can charge! Yippee skip yahoo! Immune to normal beam shots, such as robots and bosses. They can also open charge beam doors. In addition, Samus can perform a charge attack by spin jumping when the beam is fully charged. Spin jumping when the beam is fully charged? Whoa! That's kind of cool. I like that. That's a neat ability. Alright, well that opens up like... There's so many of these doors that we've already been through. <gasps> this is where I started out again. Except you're new, I think. I think it's when it lifts its tummy that I want to do that. Nope. Oh! That did a lot of damage! Isn't that the thing that you, I I mean, it's probably something that you have to use a charge shot on, but there was like a thing that looked just like that, that when it was like demonstrating how to use parry to me. We'll try charging on it and see if anything changes here. Oh. Okay, you just use a charge shot on its tummy. Why did I think that I needed to parry it? I could swear there's more water here than there was last time. This is a cool way to, like, lay out the first area, though. That you literally get, like, dumped back in the first room. I love this. That's just such a fun ability. <gasps> oh, the, what's casting that shadow? I guess some, some sort of background creature. I think I might be able to get that, actually. Nice. I feel like there's already a couple of those that I missed. Given how thin that sliver is, for like, the potential amount of E-tanks that you could get, I get the feeling there's gonna be a lot of those to find. And you can even see like, kinda like, the tip of the laser kinda like illuminate the geometry. 
where it like lands. It's kind of neat. Hmm. You want to see me play Roblox games? Roblox Cart, Blox Quest The Lost Levels, and Adventure Hub. Um, I'm familiar with, well, three, I guess. I'm familiar with, uh, Roblox Cart, but, uh, I don't think it, um, it's very streamable, you know? Like, I've, I've said this before, but I, I really don't consider myself, like, a, a Roblox streamer. This, the stuff that I've done in the past is because, like, I know the people who worked on it, or they're, like, adjacent to the stuff that I do, which is, like, adventure games. And, uh, some of those recommendations do fit that, but... I think I've already played Adventure Hub on my own, and I don't think it's, like, I would enjoy streaming that very much. That one's more, like, like a, of a proof of concept than anything. Or just like a, like a showcase kind of place. Oh. If I like grab onto a ledge, can I like shoot over it? Can I do like a little ledge smash? Like, if I'm holding on... No. Okay. You can shoot away from the ledge when you're grabbing it, but you can't shoot, like, over it. I was thinking that would be, like, a helpful way to, like, stay low to the ground. But I guess from the enemy's perspective, that might be a little cheesy, as it were. Is this a save and a heal room, or just a save room? Because I think it just saves. Well... Handy to have either way. Another new room, you say? Ooh! Wait a second, what? I don't have the blasty I need for this. Damn. Speaking of Roblox, Roblox Squid Game, have you seen any good shows lately? Um. Well, I mentioned this, uh, in September, when I said that I wanted to have a lot of- What does that mean? What was that symbol? It's like concentric circles? I think this is a safe room, though, so I'll, f I'll finish that thought. I said in September that I, I wanted to have, like, a lot of- I had free time, because I was, like, trying to stay off of Twitter to avoid spoilers, and, uh... What is it? What is it? What is it? It's kind of a cool way to communicate an idea. Each room you kind of see more and more of, like, a, a certain scene. Um... But yeah, I said that I... It was very frustrating because... Seinfeld came out as soon as I wouldn't need to occupy my time with non-spoilers anymore. Um... But I've been doing that anyways, so I'm... I'm I think five seasons into Seinfeld? I've been watching that, like, non-fucking-stop. Um, but I've been, I've been enjoying it a lot. I, I grew up with Seinfeld reruns a lot, but I've never, like, sat down and gone through the whole series. So there's there's still, like, a lot of uh, very fresh stuff that I've never uh, gotten the chance to see before. I really hope, though, that it leads to, like, a larger renaissance of that show amongst younger people, because... I remember in high school, like, the two sitcoms that anybody talked about were, uh, Friends and The Office. And I like The Office. I can agree with people's opinions on that, but I fucking hate Friends. And whenever I brought up, you know, the, the Seinfeld versus Friends debate, I always got back, oh, Friends is better. Seinfeld isn't funny. And I, I am, I'm still, like, so bitter about that, and I need, just for myself, that cultural perception to change. Like, what the fuck did Seinfeld ever do that it just becomes, like, this shorthand for something that isn't funny? Because it's literally not. It's, like, one of the tightest comedies of all time. And it doesn't get the credit it deserves. 
Oh, I thought that, that oh, okay. I thought it was going full circle, but this is a another new room, I think anyways. Spank the creature. Griffin Boomer moment. Okay, but like I don't think there's any there there's no way that there's anybody here that sincerely thinks that Friends is the better show. Are you kidding me? Like, drop the bit. Wait, maybe I have been here because I, because of the meat. There's like something there in the background. <gasps> There's something slithering, all right. Yeah, if I check the map, then I definitely am coming back full circle. Maybe there's more, god damn it. More charge doors that I haven't found yet. <gasps> right, look in here. Does Adam have more to say to me, or... Yeah, just save. Okay. Honestly, Griffin, you're 100% right. It's ho I mean, I've been howling! It's so good! Okay, this is definitely a new room. Holy moly. Ooh, thank you. I don't like either, but the only thing I think of when I think of Seinfeld is the famous Kramer racism moment. That's fair. <gasps> I saw, um, apparently there was like a, like a Lego Seinfeld set that came out, and I don't know when, but I've seen people like making memes with that, and, and one of them is like, they built like a Lego Laugh Factory and put the Lego Kramer in front of it. I guess there's not really any way up there. It's like a solid like line on the map between these two areas. Well then I don't know if there's anything I can really do in here. That's not a blast ball door. But there's also other charges that I can go through here. So we'll see what that's about. Oh. See now like she's got her hand on the ceiling kind of leaning through. So many good touches like that. Alright, well I think then, looking at the map, my solution would be to like re-enter the Emmy zone maybe and like find some new exits to go through. See what I really need to do is figure out like, yeah, charge beam door. I need to see how those are indicated on the map because then I can just like literally mouse over these and find more charge beam doors if possible. Like some of these are going to mean nothing, but some of these are just going to say, yup, right this way, my friend. I mean, with with this whole area that I, like, looped back around through, Emmy's own door. Yeah, there's a lot here that's unexplored. I guess my, my, my best chance is to, to go back in here and, uh... And, like, actually explore while Emmy is chasing me, which is not going to be easy. But I think it, I think it must be done. <gasps> I, I can like go over you, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, I can't even from here. This is a, a one way. Oh, I see. You need to like walking towards you, and then you gotta jump. Oh. Wait, okay. Get off me! Wow. Yeah, they really do not want me going that way. I mean, I, I came in here before. What does this mean that it's locked? I thought this is the way I, I came out the first time, and then these two were, like, locked. But now, now I'm able to get to these two upper rooms. And I can't get to the lower one that I did the first go around. Although I fear that maybe the answer has something to do with, like, those silly little missile secrets. Because this looks a little suspicious. Ah, oh, well, that was my only idea. Huh. 
Well, all right, so I'm sealed away a little bit here. Because I can't get back to the Ami room through here. And this area is, like, also a dead end, no? Unless I can, like, missile this stuff, but... Kind of doubt it. Hmm. So within the area that I'm locked away in... I don't know. There's, like... There's two Emmys, like, above and below. But I don't get how these rooms work. Because they're not these, and they're not these, and that's all I have right now. Ooh. Every single time, I don't see it coming. I get fooled without fail. Oh, if you, like, parry? Oh, that cancels your charge. Okay. Gotcha. There's gotta be something that I'm missing here. There's no way to drain the water. There's no other way out of this. The minimap doesn't show anything. Yeah, the, this kind of, like, C shape. It's gotta be something within here. Yellow rooms mean what again, though? Oh, you can, like, replay that. That's nice. See, what I'm trying to find right now is, like, the key, I guess? I use R for the fast cursor. Whoa. Oh, that's actually really handy. But yeah, it, it was something along the lines of, oh, yellow rooms mean this. White rooms mean that. I think white, if it's blinking white, then that means that there's a secret in there. And if it's yellow, that means it's a save room. I don't think yellow is indicative of secrets. And then gray, is, I think, is Emmy zone. So there's a couple of secrets in these zones, but I'm just, like, trapped here. Oh, that actually didn't come back this time. Look at that. Hmm. I don't see anything that, that like, looks suspiciously missable, missileable either. These doors are a no-go. What? Adam! What have you done?! Adam! Hmm. What?! Are you fucking kidding me?! WHAT?! I'm so mad! There's no indication! Like, if it's telegraphed, I'm cool with that, but like... How would I know? I can't be doing this on like, every single room I go into. God, that running feels so good to do, that running parry. Oh, no. There's, there's gotta be some sort of, like, Yoshi's Island-style, like, red coin trick. Where they're, like, slightly more red than the regular coins. That's a gorgeous background. But I don't know what it could be. Whatever it is, I haven't figured it out. Can I air parry? <gasps> Ooh! Ooh! They get a little dizzy after that? Nice. <gasps> I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to be. This looks like a lot of dangerous rooms that are not healthy for me to be in, but it may give me a way to get back to the, the regular classic rooms. Gets me out of that C shape that I was stuck in. Ooh! Yes, please. Griffin changed the name from LBA because of copyright from Lego. Changed my mind. Um, not really. I, I, I'm pretty sure I've talked about why I changed it 
to, to log block adventure. Um, and it's mainly just because, like, I want it to be my own thing. It's like, like, if I'm just, like, talking to somebody and they're like, oh, what is the thing you're working on? And I say, it's called Lego Block Adventure. It is a little cringe. Like, I made it, I made the Lego Block Guy username when I was, like, fucking 11. And I, I don't think I should be punished and be stuck with that name forever. So I, I just changed it. I wanted something that kept, like, the LBA acronym. So people would, like, still know how to find it. Oh. Oh. Hmm. But I still can't get in here. That's very mean of you. I guess this means that some of these doors are only one way. So I need something that lets me air slide or morph ball or something like that to, to move forward. Oh, wait a second! So turning that on, does that lower all of those like weird like shield-looking doors? Is that what that means? Because I'd be very happy with that. Smile. See, like, this is telegraphed. I'm cool with that. And if you want, like, if you want to, like, hide, like, a secret behind, like, unassuming geometry, I'm even fine with that. But just, like, if it's related to progress, I think that's where, I, like, I think it can become kind of frustrating, you know? Alright, well, I'm back in here, but this door should be not open. Hmm. So it was only for that one in that room. I don't know where I would find more... Wait, what? Well, now all of these doors are off. What? Why? Uploading data. Oh, I'm reconvening with Adam. There was no record of your assailant in the Federation database. However, there are records of the Chosel Warrior tribe. Uh -huh. There is a strong possibility that you are connected. You have seen the Warrior tribe's architecture and artifacts on this planet. I conclude that this was one of their settlements. But why would someone leave you here and send the Emmy after you? The footage of the ex parasite may have been staged to lure you in. Oh shit. The situation remains unclear, but your priority hasn't changed. You must return to the ship. You have activated the madness supply system that has restored power to the closed thermal doors. Seek them out to proceed. I like the um the premise of this so far. You need to search for the unique energy you employed against the first Emmy. It is the only way you can... The Omega that. energy. Unfortunately, this energy is limited. You may have noticed it dissipating after an Emmy is destroyed. I'm waiting for an Emmy to bust through one of these orbs. That's like Adam's face. There are six remaining Emmy hunting you. You have no means to confront them. Remember that. Six of them? Yes, please. Gonna be honest, a lot of old adventure games just tried to put a word- See, the doors do open. A word from Roblox in the name. Like, Roblox Adventure, Blox Venture, and a Roblox Quest. I feel, like, personally responsible for that. A little bit. Because... Tyler was, like, the first to, like, make those, like, platformer-style games on Roblox. And they just called theirs Roblox Adventure. So when I made my shameless fucking knockoff of those games, I'm like, oh, well, I, I'm gonna make my adventure game, and I'm gonna call it, and my name, my username was Lego Block Guy, so I called it Lego Block Adventure. It's kind of all there was to it. But then, like, either there's a bunch of stupid children with the exact same, like, logic going on in their heads, or I inspired, like, a wave of adventure creators to also name their games after their own username, which I think is very stupid. It's literally just better to come up with original names. It really is. Well, I'm back in here. Kind of didn't want to be, but this is where we are now. <sighs> there was a door up there? Weird. Oh shit. What? There's booby traps in here? Why? Oh my god. 
This place is a fuck house. What? Okay. Oh no. It's another one of these. And the little surveillance drone told her where I was. Let's try going this way. Still a new room. Still counts. Still counts for something. Oh. Okay. I guess I'm supposed to be here. <gasps> I found the thingy! Oh, is this like our first boss? Maybe I'll shoot these. How about that? Nope. I mean, my, the regular shots I try go... You know, just plink plink off of it. But when I charge, it does like kind of wiggle a little bit. So I'm going to assume it's damaging it. I love these spinning Sonic and the Secret Rings that are getting thrown at me here. This is cool. I like that it's not even attacking you. You're just like cannons on the walls, and that's kind of it. Feels very like classic Metroid. -y. Or at least what I assume classic Metroid is like. And they're not all like the same shot type either, which is cool. I mean, the missiles kind of make it do the same thing. I assume that this is damaging it. Whoa! Whoa! Ew! Maybe it is supposed to like be evocative of a mother brain because it is a brain. Hi, sexy. Oh, it pains me to do this, but it has to be done. This is the first time, this is one of the first times I've heard Griffin getting angry over boobies. Angry over boobies? I mean, I, maybe I'm angry that I have to destroy the boobies. The energy from the central unit transformed the arm cannon into an Omega cannon, baby. Omega stream? That's mine! Alright, here we are. Do I gotta... Oh! It's like shaped like an Emmy face. Holy shit! Little more... I don't want to! It's okay, I'll just take it to like an Apple store. There it is. God! What?! Uh-oh. Oh! oh! Yeah, I've got to charge it for way, way longer. I always underestimate that. Like, that's a while! Griffin, from what you said about people naming games from their names, that reminded me of games such as Max Adventure and Sticky Paw Adventure. Is, is, I think Sticky Paw, isn't that the guy who, like, literally stole my games? Like, I have to, to double check to look into this, so so don't like go after them until I know that is. That's joking. Um, yeah, I remember at some point during LBA development, there was like some aspiring adventure maker who's who like, I let see LBA because they were like in the adventure group. Or at least L when I say LBA, I speak of Log Block Adventure, the current game that I'm working on. But... I, then I, like, looked at their own games, and they were, like, like, literally stolen. Like, the, the game, the whole game had been stolen and re-uploaded on their profile, and they just, like, renamed it. Um, and then, like, I looked further into their, their other, like, social profiles, and they had been, like, recreating memes that I had made, but, like, with themselves in it, and, like, I used to make, like, old, like, YouTube skits when I was, like, like, like a preteen that weren't even on YouTube anymore. 
But then I go to their YouTube channel and I see that they like recreated the video with them shot for shot and just like changed the name. But like with them, like they were trying to like like be me. I don't know if that was Sticky Pug, but it, it was fucking somebody, let me tell you that. I don't think there's enough time. Wait, no! Oh. <laughs> See, it only starts chasing you once you, like, drop down there. Once you enter that room, so... Oh, so you have to use the stream on that. It's like, it's a, it's a much smaller space than with the last one, so it's tricky to, like, line it up. But see, once you're in here, it starts moving, so you gotta, like, position yourself, like, right away. Like, you really gotta get prepared. Bye, sexy. Why?! Sometimes I, I just, I just want to let it happen. From the outside looking in, Roblox seems like it's full of freaks. Mm, you're not wrong. I'm thinking out loud. There's like a lot of like infamous names that I can think of. Just like weird figures in the Roblox community. For sure. You guys remember Jared Valdez? Speaking of stealing games. But then he got banned from Roblox because he stole his mom's credit card. That was funny. Oh, you have to... I'm not reading the prompt. You have to use the Y. You have to expose the core. That's why it wasn't working. I guess that makes sense because the door was telegraphing it. It's not hot enough! Is it enough? This is like a different animation now. I like that there's a lot of like different contexts that it can grab you. I like seeing it grab me in a million different ways. I could do that all night. And quite frankly, there's a, there's a good chance that I will do exactly that. Oh, I gotta do the big blast now. The mapping where it's like... You have to, like, hold down both shoulder buttons is, is very, like... I can't get used to that. I waste, like, precious time trying to figure that out. Maybe if I can keep it, like, steady enough, I can get it all the way, like, on the first go. Oh, shit! Here we go! No, it's not enough time. Next room, next room, next room, next room. Open up, please! Oh my- It's too tall for the doorway. That's so hot. <sighs> it's not fair! It's not fair! I want to kiss it! Lovingly places my hand on its chest before it's too late. The spider magnet? The spider magnet, Luigi. Allow Samus to- Oh! Attach to blue mag- Whoa! Magnetic surface walls and ceilings using magne a magnetic field. Tilt L in the direction of certain walls and ceilings to grab on. Samus can move and attack while in this state. Hold up while attached to a ceiling to press against it. Cool. Well, that opens up a lot, too. Omega cannon depleted and offline. Returning to regular arm cannon. I searched for Sticky Pug Adventure and I found two versions of the same game made by two accounts, Sticky Pug Guy and Sticky Pug Plex, with one of them being just three or four days after the first one. I mean, this this isn't really indicative of whether or not it's like stolen or not, but like, does the hub look like trees and like a city? 
kind of. I think that's the one. Like, it's it's stolen from LBA 2, I believe. It's nice that the, the film grain is gone here now, though. It's a lot cleaner looking. Gee, I don't know. Maybe use the ability you just got or something, Griffin. Maybe that's a, a good lead. Ah! That's nifty. Look at that. It, being able to explore these areas after Emmy is gone, like, it is sad because no more sexy, but at the same time, it's like, it's like a reward all in and of itself. I just feel very accomplished walking through this place. I don't have to be scared anymore. I think, like, the, the steam is gone, too. Ah. Well, how does it help me get over there, though? Because I need to find something to either squeeze through or... take it from the other side, but I can't get through because of that weird, like, diagonal passage. Hmm. Well, there are other rooms. And I guess I'm back out here now. God, this place is huge! For, like, your first area? This is a ton of shit! Oh, you can't just do the slide underwater? Interesting. You know, I was gonna skip it. But I'll save. I guess there's no Emmy anymore, which is the thing I was most frequently dying to, but yeah, I don't know. I can die to anything, I'm full of surprises. Oh, this was like the, the same like kind of sea area I was trapped in earlier, wasn't it? I'll turn around in advance then. That's the only place to go. Because there's a lot of branching areas in the enemy maze. I just need to find a different way. Right. So I want to look at the map while I'm in here. This is what I need to do. So, I think this is off-limits. Yeah, if I want that missile... I was trying to figure out how to get to it from the same room, but... This being impassable and this being impassable are actually two connected things. So I think you need to find maybe the Morph Ball to do that. What does this symbol mean? Item cube? Item cube? Hmm. I can try item cube. No, actually. I would need to get to it through through sensor lock door, whatever that means. I don't know how to open one of those. Let's let's like try connecting these spaces. That's like the biggest blank spot I'm seeing for the time being. It has the trees from LBA1 and the hub looks like LBA2. Huh. I mean, this is the thing, is that just, like, based on that description that I'm giving, like, every Roblox adventure game has, like, a, a garden-y city as its, like, hub. So that really doesn't, like, get very specific. But I, th I think that's the guy. I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys posted and as seen on if I, if I ever learn what, what's up with that. Right, and this is the room that I was just in. And then I climbed up here. Oh! I'm trying to explore, please! Yeah, I gotta find, like, more ways to go up still. Yeah, you gotta get out of my way first. No, I can't double jump between these two walls. 
huh. Well, it looks like you haven't been down here. Because the map, like, fills in with, like, the squares. Which is actually probably going to be really frustrating to me. Because I like seeing stuff like that just, like, 100% colored in. You know? And it's going to, to deeply frustrate me. If I can't. If there's, like, a little square that I can just never get to any certain corner of a room. Especially because this isn't really, like that indicative of what you've explored. If I'm, like, ever stuck, and there's, like, a little cube that I need to shoot, something like that, then these being filled in isn't gonna help me get any closer to finding a solution. I'm back in here now. It's not really much of a hint. I guess if you're trying to find, like, alternate paths within the same room, that can be helpful, but that's about it. Looking inside, I spot some similarities with LBA. A sweets world, a haunted mansion world, a cafe, a definitely original final world entrance with the purple carpet with yellow lines on the side. I think I know the game you're talking about. I think that might be the guy. already so lost. I need to get back up here. This room is going to connect me to everything where I need to go. So if I go up and around like that, that should do it. You have to like go left to go right. It's a little counterintuitive, but I think I got the hang of this. Right, so now I'm back in this room that I couldn't get through before, but if I just do this... Wait, what? Why not? Uh-oh. Wait, why not, though? It's not even like... Like, it, like the wrong kind of door. It's just off. It's a disabled version of a door that I know I can go through. I think it'd be really helpful for a game like this to have some sort of, like, Hero's Path feature. Maybe. Central unit destroyed. Is this where, like, the boss was? I thought the other places, this is where the boss was. I don't remember destroying two central units. Unless this is the Emmy area where I went, like, the first time around, and it was, like, already broken, and then I turned... Yeah, okay, this is where the broken Emmy is. Okay. That's too cold. Acquired item sphere charge beam. That's where I got the charge beam. So I don't think it's any of these like lower areas. I think we can rule out all this stuff. It's definitely something related to like the upper half of this with like the maze and everything. The Emmy area. The UI is also the same as LBA. Well, LBA is UI up until Log Block Adventure. All the other LBA games just reuse Tyler stuff. So they're just probably also reusing Tyler stuff. Charge beam door. Right, this room was, like, too hot, wasn't it? Uh-huh. Why sealed door? Open thermal door. I don't know, it can, ju it can just get very confusing, because... I can understand if a door is closed because of, like, oh, you need this item. But some of these doors are just, like close without really a reason given and they just like open and close because of like story stuff or progress stuff and at least for now it's not really easy to, to get a sense of like why certain doors look the same but are locked or why certain doors are like closed now or open later or open now and then closed later like shit just happens sometimes All right, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Can you? There you go. Jeez. I gotta watch my uh, 
my health right now. There's so many things here! I'm just trying to explore! Network station. Yeah, I might be able to loop back around if I hit the any rooms from this side. Because there's multiple entrances to this area. And I think the way I was going about it is about the extent of what I can explore of that half. But I think if I go back through this way, I can make it work. No, I can't reach that. No way. Huh. I used to be able to get in here. I don't know what changed. Well, these guys drop a lot of HP, too. Am I correct to feel dirty for saying HP in a Metroid game when they're E-tanks? Well, now we're back here. Maybe I can go backwards through where I got the charge beam, though. Oh, you're too short, that's why. So if I'm here... I mean, there is supposedly a secret. But that's probably on the icy side. Uh-huh. Well, okay, I can get up here now at the very least. That's worth something. I mean, okay, there are some things that I consider, like, okay, that's stealing, and other things were like, that's just everybody does it. Like, if the collectible is a letter, that's not something that I, like, invented. Tyler just made it an R for Roblox, and then I was a fucking... What's what's a word for, like, lacking creativity? Or, like, lacking imagination? Because I didn't have that as a kid, and so I just made mine an L, and that's all there was to it. But if somebody wants to make theirs an S, I wouldn't call that stealing. Still can't get through here. I really need that morph ball. There's a lot of shit that's just like in the way like that that I can't really do anything about. And I can't get back to the any room through there either. Yeah, this is the area where I got lost the first time. And I thought to go back up there, but I couldn't, so I had to go here instead. The, uh, the cinematic zoom-in is, is very, very fun on occasion. It reminds you a lot of um, Star Fox Zero's effect when you kind of, like, get close to another um, ship and you, like, just barely clip each other. I don't know. Chad doesn't need to be doing that that much investigative work right now. Like, if I, I can just, like, look at it and be like, oh, yeah, this is, like, the entirety of a game I made, or it isn't. So I think that'd be, like, just easier for me to do in my own time, maybe. Boy, that's frustrating that some of these areas are just wet now. I thought I was onto something, but they, they thought about that. They knew that fuckers like me would try to go into places where apparently I'm not allowed to be anymore. Like, yo, we're, we're gonna clown on this guy so hard, we're gonna make it so that no matter how hard he tries, he can't explore. I love the, um, harsh shadows in these, uh, open cave rooms. Oh, there's something up there, too, actually. I think that's an E-tank. No, that's just a little block. You're nothing but a little block to me. All right. Hmm. We can try going up through here, maybe. 
no. No way. That's not happening. Cool lighting, though. Yeah, this locks you in. At least for now. I need that morph ball. Like, I see this item room, and I'm trying to, like, figure out how to get to it, and it's probably through here, but I can't get to there unless I, like, go through here, and then this door is the only way to do that, and this door is locked, and then I can get through here, but then I can't, like, get around this because it's, like, the fucking Sonic 3 Ice Cat thing. And this, like, vertical thing is, like, the entirety of the way to get up, so I wanted to get in through one of these areas, which I just tried, and then I can't do that because I can't go backwards through here. Like, what's fucking left?! It's gonna be some dumb shit like this with the cubes, I promise you. I hate that I'm compelled to fill in these cubes like this. Xenoblade, um, also has, like, a similar map system like this, where, uh, it'll, like, color in the parts of the map you've been. And I remember... Uh, just like on my own time when I when I played that I would just I would like walk to parts of the map where I knew for a fact like there just wasn't shit there but I would do it to like fill in the map all the way I'm like but but there's just not gonna be colored in otherwise you know like this will probably get me back to like where the Emmy died, but... I'm looking at, like, the left wall of this, and there's not really any other way to ascend besides this, like, one-way shoot. And that's my sticking point. I mean, this is the place where you just killed Emmy. And then you get the spider magnet, so it's... It should be pretty obvious that, like, the path that it's pointing you down is going to be a sequence that uses the ability that you just got, but this is the only place you can go, and this is a dead end. So I don't know what to make of that. This is where it loses me. Like, and then I can go here, but this is where I came in on this most recent attempt to try and figure out what's going on here. And then I, you can try the shoot, but there's only one way down. And down is not where I'm trying to be right now. Right, and then you just you come back to the Emmy dies room. What if that happened? What if that happened to you? This is the boss room again. I mean, there are these, like, little, like, glowy things, but I think these are just what was, like, shooting at me during the boss battle. I don't think they mean anything right now. Right, right. Whoa! You weren't here last time, that's for sure. It's all the same, it all goes the same way! And you'd think that this would be a situation where, like, the map being colored in is, like, a helpful feature, but the only spots that aren't colored in are this ledge, which I can't get up to from here or here, and this room, which I can't get to, and then, you know, a bunch of other shit that I, that I somehow got to before but now can't get back to, because the doors that I, like, I could swear that I definitely used previously are just locked for no reason. I think it'd be really cool if you streamed the Max Adventure Trilogy. I... Uh, I'm pretty sure I've... Wait a second. Oh! Well, that's, that's nice, I guess. But it's not really what I thought I it would do. Um, but I think the Max Adventure games are just, like, literally, like, taken down. Like, they're not public anymore.
It's just like, how many more times do I have to look at this wall into ceiling into wall from this same room again and again before I find the real way forward? This is clearly the way that, that it's leading you down, that it wants you to, to find. And then it loses me. I just... Why is this locked? I don't get it. I don't know. The, the, the only other Metroid I've played is um, Prime, but I feel like that one did a really, really good job explaining um, like, like the what and the why of shit like this. Um, so I think that's my one complaint so far. I don't know if that's like more of a, a common 2D Metroid thing, but considering Prime is 3D, you'd think that that would like make it more of a complex thing to explain. I don't know why the 2D game is more confusing to me now. I mean, there's, there's shit that I'm trying... It's gotta be, you get an item, and then all these questions that I have get answered. Are there any other item cubes? Because this is, like, the only landmark on the map that's, like, not in a room that I've already found. Everything else is, like, grayed out, or it's, like, a, like a used or destroyed or save room thing. Like, I can't get up to the sensor lock door. There's no getting up here. Yeah, this is also a zigzag, so even if I went all the way over here, I wouldn't be able to make it happen. That is so... I'm so stumped. I mean, I guess there's power beam doors. But even if I wanted to get to this section of the maze... This shit's, like, locked off, right? Actually, there might be a way through. I can't get in through here, but if I go through this save room... No. No, I can't, because this is the this is the pool. I can't get in through there. So that doesn't work either. That's the only way to access this side of the maze. This is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze locking you out on steroids. Oh, this game is so big. I like it that you can see the ship, like, all the way up there, though. That's cool. Like, it's neat, and I'm enjoying exploring. I just wish I, like, knew where I was going. Because to me, the process of, like, laying out your options and then exploring those... I'm, like, interested in that. But at this point, I feel like I've laid out all those options. And I've, like, seen them all through. Which leaves me really confused as to where to go next. You know, I am able to get to this room, and it says there's a secret in here. Maybe there's something to that. I consider this like a, like a one-way nothing thing, but this does look like it might suspiciously connect to another area. I did say quite a while ago that... I was pretty sure that if there was anything stopping me, it was one of the stupid fucking invisible cube things. And, uh, it's beginning to dawn on me that that, that might very well be the case. So I want to get out. I need to go more down, I think. How is it just in this shit? There's a way to get to this. Not without a morph ball, though. Right, so I, I should be able to go, like, up and over, yeah? Boy, I really gotta get used to holding L. I just, like, run into shit, like, so often. When I should be aiming. Okay. So this is inaccessible, but there, it looks like there's a lower door here that I should be able to use. Yes, it's like literally open already. See, like, I, I looked up at the fan and then I just stopped, but what if I just like kept going? Oh, but the fan was the secret. The secret is the fan, and the, the only way to get up to the top of this room is to go through here, which which needs the morph ball, so you can't do that. So I don't think there is any secret here that I could take advantage of. None of these other rooms are glowing. Yeah, 
I don't know. The creator made a place... An old games place where the Max Adventure Trilogy is and also some other old stuff. Okay. So like what, what, what with Tyler did. I don't think there's the- I, 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 I don't think I even have the luxury of, um, checking a, a walkthrough from, on GameFAQs from 20 years ago like I did with Prime, because this game just came out. I don't think anybody's even beaten it yet. Fucking sealed doors, huh? If anybody told me dumping all this liquid here would cause all these problems. Maybe I wouldn't have done it. Oh, it's so tantalizingly close. Whoa. Didn't mean to do that, but the... Why not? Why not explore the options? I do have Amiibo. I've got Ridley and Samus. I wonder what those do. This goddamn shoot is gonna make me fucking snap. I like that it shows you where you can find, like, other spider wall surfaces, though. That's kind of neat. Like, all the shit of interest that I'm looking at, I can't get to anymore. Which is driving me crazy, because I've been here already! All the shit is, like, colored in! I got to it once, but, like, it, I've, I've closed all these doors behind me permanently. I'm just going in circles in, in, in this same area, and then any time I try to, like, go someplace new, it's just these random locked doors. That's the 2D Metroid special, baby. Are these just sealed doors with zero explanation? Like, a, a 2D Metroid staple? Because, like, maybe I haven't played other 2D Metroids, but I've seen plenty of 2D Metroids. And this shit is just a mystery. It doesn't say what item you need, it doesn't say what you need to do to open it, it's just sealed door. AND IT'S A DOOR THAT I ALREADY USED AND IT LOCKED BEHIND ME! WHY?! I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just gonna leave the enemies on. There's, not, there's nothing for me here, there's nothing for me here, so I'm going to leave. I'm gonna have my leave, I'm gonna slide in here, it's gonna be a black screen because it's a boss room, and I'm gonna go out this way, and I'll be down here. And I'll be on my way. I am coloring in the odd cube here and there, though, which is, in some sense, satisfying. It's the only, like, dopamine I can get from this anymore. I, I feel like I've, I've wrung it dry, and I'm trying to, like, twist it tighter and tighter, and then, and then, I don't know, there's a second wet towel right over there that I'm just not seeing. I don't know what this analogy is. I'm like, I'm like confused how to get out of here even. I think I'm r right on the right way though. Because it's gonna take me to this fucking room. But this should be the way out. Love the squeaky noises that those make. Doesn't even matter if I could break that even. Yeah, I think my best bet is just like going up through this save room again. And then, this has already all been discounted. So clearly, the only option for me is to go back down here, which I've already done, but fuck it, I guess I'll do it again. I'm gonna go to sleep. Have a good night, everyone. Okay, bye-bye. Sealed door. Sealed door. When I go to sleep tonight, I'm gonna have nightmares about sealed door. 
Okay, but April, you, you've you got, like, you've got a head start on me with Dread, right? You started playing this, like, last night. So, like, did you get stuck in the same place that I did? Or did you get further? Because if you did, that that's invaluable. You're my, you're my only game facts right now, April. <laughs> Fucking landing on the bat is so stupid. There is a door that you haven't gone through in the room with the sealed door that you can you can access with the magnet now. So it is in the Emmy area? Is what you mean to say? Because this is sealed door. This is the one that's been driving me crazy because I, I want to get up to this upper area. And the only two ways to do it are through this door or you have to go up this chute, which is no, no way of doing because it's too slippery. You'll just slide right down. And I've tried approaching it from the left side, and this pool of water is too high up. I can't get, like, up this, this jump here. That's too much. On the right of that missile icon, this? Emmy zone door. A single uncolored cube. Uh... Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll turn around. I suspect that my worst fears are about to come true. And if if the thing that stumped me is the thing that I think it is, then uh, I don't know much about sealed doors, but that is definitely the 2D Metroid special if I've ever seen one. Wait, okay. There, there's a way... If I... I'm cleaner with my wall jumps, there's a way to climb up from this side. There we go. Yeah, so like, like, like right up here. But it looks like that this is only one way. If I were to be able to destroy that, that would be huge. But I don't think I can do it from like this side of the room. I don't see anything that's that's indicative of that. And this room isn't glowing white either. And I believe white is what tells you what you're doing wrong. And then I can't go through the water. On the right of the missile icon. I mean, the, the the true layout of this room could be completely different from what I'm, like, observing. But this looks to me like the only way up through it. And you can see that these, like, fuzzier cubes, like, this is the only space where those two connect. It's gotta be an invisible cube. It's gotta be. Even if I could get through this door, which I can't because of this water, even that would be a big deal. But I don't think I can do, like, either, really. On the right of that missile I got. Ow. Why couldn't you? You can slide under- Wait, WHAT?! You cannot s wait since when?! I've been trying! I, I couldn't do it! You can do it?! This may not be a 2D Metroid special, this could be a fucking Griffin special. At least I think you can. This is me pressing the ZL button in the water. Yeah, there's a couple of those zones. Like, I think this is the Morph Ball, and you get that next. So I think if I had that, then I would be able to go through passages like that. But there's a couple of, like, choke points 
that I found that have pools of water like that where I've just like had to turn around because I can't do the slide. Maybe there's a way to drain the water. Like out one of these sides maybe? Nope. Ah, unfortunate. And even just like non-water shit. Like getting access to any of these like one grid high holes would be a huge deal. But I can't get any to any of them because for some reason or another there's like other one grid holes in the way. Hmm. I wonder if I could damage boost off of that thing. Probably not. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. Maybe if Metroid could crawl, this would be easier! Like, this right here is... is... I'm trying to, like, think of this, not from my Griffin brain, but, like, if I were the game developer, if I were Mercury Steam, how would I, like, arrange this layout? Because this central space in the Emmy room is where it's, like, teaching you to use a new ability. And so this is where they want you to go, and then, you know, then you're here. And this is where it lost me. As of fucking 40 minutes ago. There's definitely no coming up through here. Unless, I don't know, for some reason this jump has anything to do with it, but I doubt it. It does make me slightly smaller. I am, like, kind of rolling up into a ball. Just, like, not a compressed enough ball. Sadly. Wait, what does yellow and red mean? Yellow and red? What do you mean, yellow and red? Hold up. There's, like, a yellow diamond and a red diamond somewhere on the map. I think those are, like, points of interest, maybe. Is here where I need to be? It is a filled-in room. But I guess it just never stopped by that on the way. Ah, but alas. I mean, there, yeah, there is a bunch of, like, untouched shit over here. That would require the power beam. Maybe I do want to go in this direction instead of this direction. But again, it would come down to this being in the way. Or this being in the way. Because these are the two choke points for accessing the left side of the map. Or, you know, you could go over, which I also haven't been able to do for some reason. Go up, go up. Please. Metroid, please. Go up, please. Please. Go up. I guess I haven't been through that. What does that mean? Really? Well, I colored it in, but I don't think it really <laughs> has changed anything. I think I'm going to take my leave again from, from the Emmy area. I feel like I had more of a chance when I wasn't like going in the, the same circles over and over again. As far as the Emmy Zone goes, I think I've, like, I've done, I've tried everything that I can do. But I think if I go out into the caves, maybe, maybe I'll find things out there. Oh, I guess that's the trade-off you would be making, is that you can shoot these things for health, but they would alert Emmy if Emmy was still here. I don't even know if this is how you get out. I'm like going in circles within my going in circles. I 
I'm gonna take the zigzag wall. This is gonna be one of those things where I'm gonna find out where it is that I needed to go and I'm gonna fucking scream. Why sealed door though? Like, at least if I knew the answer to why doors were locking with no explanation, I'd be like, okay. But it's just some weird, unexplained thing for the time being. Yeah, I guess I'll save. Like, I just need to get away. I need to get far, far away, I think. Just out. Just gone. Yeah, there's, there's no reach in that, as is. Which sure would be helpful, but, like, I... I've been in this room before, so if I were able to get up through here... It's the- it's the fucking liquid, I tell you, man. Every time I see something that has potential... I mean, unless I could, like, empty it from the, the bottom, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Like, that was the, um, like, the, the the wall jump tutorial, and I can't even get back to that anymore. I don't even want to shoot. I just want to spank things. Maybe they have directions. I don't know. I mean, I had a few ideas about this space, but there's really not that much to it that you even have, like, the opportunity to explore. You run out of material pretty quickly. Mm, I can go here, but this is only a missile upgrade. There's no doors on this side. You'd think being here would be something of worth, because they did bother to put the wall here, But I think that's just like an out-of-the-way nicety than it is something that actually resembles progress. Oh, jeez. And then this! I also can't go through here either because I need the Morph Ball, which I get, I assume, over here. And lo and behold, were I able to do that, that would take me to cool shit, presumably. Oh, it's driving me crazy. Like, this has got to be the third time that I've explored all of this looking for a way forward, and I can't find it. Can I, like, drain this? Maybe there's, like, water dripping. That could be, like, a, like an environmental clue of some kind. Nope. Nothing. I would feel smart if that were the case, but it just... It's weird. The, thing, the things that you think mean anything don't mean anything, and the things that do mean things are, like, the most unassuming. Oh, this is the cold room. I can't go here. There is, there is an odd little corridor between these two rooms. Maybe there's something to that. I'm gonna go to the, the charge beam room. I'm gonna investigate a little bit here. He's gotta shoot a clean line from one half of the room to the other and see if you find anything. 
But that's assuming even that, like, that's the weapon that it wants you to use. Because you could just need missiles. Which is even, like, more confusing. Because how would you ever know where you're going? With a finite amount of attempts to guess. So strange. See, and then you gotta do the walk of shame back. And you have to admit that you, you didn't learn anything from all this exploring. And you know, you'd think the caves hold, like, the promise of secrets. This place used to feel so big, and that's because it actually is, but I'm only able to explore the same 5% of it over and over again. Like, this area feels pretty big, but the actual amount of doors doesn't really give you much to work with. What is happening here? I, I feel like I was hitting something there, but I guess not. Wait, where did, did that die, or did it, like, go into a wall? Okay, I think it died. I, it looks like, a, to me, it went into a wall. This is driving me nuts. This is like the only room with a secret in it that I actually have access to and then I can't go up enough. And then the upper half of the room requires you to do this shit. No holes here. Well, in this in this doggy dog world, there are no holes barred. I'm so suspicious about this. Cause like, I can see that there are one-way doors that I've been locked on the other side of, but there's also like the reverse. Where there are, like, places that I haven't been where I would be able to access if I, if I could, like, open it from the other side. But those themselves are locked off by yet more things that I can't get to. Look how, like, pristinely colored this part of the Emmy zone is. How thoroughly I've checked every single side there is. It's interesting that the spider magnets on the walls go on the outside of the rooms rather than the inside. Thought that meant something, but I guess not. Huh. There, there were teleport rooms that I was told about, but I don't think... Those are the purple rooms. The save ones I don't think you can do anything about. I'm just gonna, like, peek around for, like, if there's such a thing as, like, one block gaps between any of this shit. Like, what I need to find is, is more- wait a second, if I, like, climb up by one, Hey guys, welcome back to Metroid Dread. Today we're going to be playing uh, the Missile Upgrade section.
It's so stupid. It's so stupid. I hate Yoshi's Island! Oh my god. And then this opens up. And then everything spills forth from that. I can't even admire the, the beautiful scenery anymore because I'm so pissed about this bullshit! I totally forgot about that. I can't e April, I'm not- I wouldn't even dream of blaming you. What- Oh my- What is that thing? Looks like I can shoot it, though. I gotta, like... I gotta lure it. I gotta make it hungry. Interesting. Oh, ew! Hi, sexy. Love me a man with a cape. <gasps> okay, missiles work. Got it. And you can slide under it. I love the first person view. It's very over the top. Oh, shit. Very good, like, smooth transition from cutscene into battle, though. I always. Why am I trying baby shots when it just told me use missiles? Right? Right. Oh, look at it like j it's jiggly sack. It's a little frog now. Gotta use L and R, that's the trick, Griffin. Well, it's a good thing my exhaustive exploration gave me plenty of missiles to work with, at the very least. I think I need to like get close. When it does the little telegraph, I wanna like slide under that and then get caught in that zone. Like this. And then I can do this. Oops. Uh oh, well now what? Charge shots? Charge shots work, okay. I see. Oh, this is a fun gimmick. The way it's animated has like very like satisfying tells too. I like that little like double jiggle before it like tries to spike you. Oh, also I have my uh, my missiles back. I can just do this. Easy. <gasps> oh! What the fuck? Is that like its real head? Oh, what? Oh! I like the different heights of the head, too. There's a lot of, like, very, like, well-considered, like little bits like that. Wait, but I can, like, do this, too. Oh! Just use the missile. There's so many buttons to be holding down! Oh, that's not vulnerable anymore. I guess only when it's, like, invisible. I don't know, I kind of like the charge shots better. Just, like, for accuracy's sake. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, you can like shoot those out of the air and it'll like drop missiles. That's cool. Uh oh. Don't breathe this, Samus. Oh. Oh shit, I'm about to die, by the way. Ow. 
I'm gonna need this thing to like drop shit like pretty soon, huh? Oh, no. Well, if you shoot it out of the air, yeah, there you go. Now we're talking. But I guess it gives a lot. You get damaged a lot too, is the thing. <gasps> oh god. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Pew pew, Samus, for the love of God, pew pew! I'm like picking the shots that I'm doing when that happened. Like the movement was controlled, but the shot types were all my choice. That's interesting. So probably spamming missiles then would have been the choice to make there. lasting damage. Like, is that quick time event thingy? Was that, like, extra credit, or is that, like, necessary, you know? Eh. I think it's just extra credit. The way the surfaces of this thing are really cool. Oh shit! Oh shit! No, the statue though! That was cool. That was cool though. Oh! <gasps> the cube! This better be ball. I want ball. Phantom Cloak? What the fuck? I want ball! Fresh ball. Upgrading Super Ion compatibility. Maybe I can go in Chili Lands now? An Ion ability that renders Samus invisible to enemies by refracting light. She can also move silently, albeit at a slower speed. With full Ion, press on the right stick to activate. Press the right stick again once to, again to deactivate. Ion will slowly be consumed while this ability is activated. Moving or firing weapons will activate will consume additional Ion. Once all Ion has been depleted, the Phantom Cloak will consume energy instead. Should it deplete energy to 1, it will automatically deactivate. After deactivation, Ion will begin to recharge automatically when Samus takes any actions. The ability cannot be activated again until Ion is full. Well, this would be handy if I, like, were in an Emmy area, but I don't think I'm going to find any of those anytime soon. I don't see how this helps me once I go back out into the world, you know? No ball? How dreadful. Hey, but who knows? Maybe the random fucking sealed areas will just decide to be open again for no reason. Eh? Wait a second. Oh, it's like a security thing. I getcha. Interesting. I could use some help, though. Oh, it's like a little elevator. That's handy. Well, all right. This changes a lot. I wish I fucking got to this sooner instead of getting on a, stuck on a cube for like half the stream. Hey. I... I'm just thinking about like how I... I had the cube already visible, and because of that, I thought that I had, like, more to do. You guys can't see me, but I'm, I'm like, shaking my head right now in, like, disappointment. Oh, this is another one way. Gotcha. Oh! Watch, it's gonna make me, like, fight the boss again now. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no, we're fine. Still about to die, but that's okay. Yep. And you know what? Maybe I don't want to go in the hot zone. Maybe there there is no reason for me to do that. Maybe we'll go this way instead. Because at least now, uh oh. God damn it! I finally made it to like the upper area of this Emmy zone, and it's another fucking one way that I can't get through. All right, well I guess hot zone it is then, huh? Oh, you're a fast one, huh? I like the little like oh sound it makes when you do that. Hi, Adam. Do you have lore for me? No, I'm just here to save. Nah, this game is pretty generous with checkpoints. Thank God. I would be in even more trouble. Could you imagine? What is this thing? Oh, I guess. I, <laughs> I guess. Why not? I don't know if I'm doing dam- like, it's reacting, but I think it's just like, you know, not reacting. I just think you should let me go back to old areas. I think- I like, they're just making up shit for why I can't. Oh yeah, in, in like half an hour, like a giant fucking plant grew here, and it's exactly the height and width of the corridor. Good luck. Alright, I guess it really wants me to go to the, the spicy hot zone then. Hmm. Corpius. Charge beam door. I just don't know what else I would be doing around here. Sensor lock door, though. I'd be able to go, like, under the hot room, maybe. Alright, we can try this. Such a cool visual effect. Oh, this isn't a hot room. Look at that. Okay. Guys, I'm just I'm gonna start crying just from like the, the novelty of seeing new rooms on a, on a regular basis again. This is such like a gracious gift that I didn't even know that I I, I was oh you fuck that I, I I was not I was squandering. Oh, I see. You do parry these guys, but you got to do it when it, like, sparks like that. Yep, there it is. I knew it was the same guys as before. I knew it. God, look at all these uncolored squares I'm leaving behind. I want to, like, drop down, like, a dozen times to make sure I fill them all. All right, well, that's definitely taken care of. I can parry while holding onto this, too. <gasps> That is not correct. Oh, <gasps> purple room. Uh oh. Cataris. I'll take one more peek at like the the mini map before deciding that. But I think this is like most of what I can do down here for now. At least like without the more fall. Ah! Yeah, we'll we'll go to Arteris. Who's asking? No, I'm in Arteria. I, I, Carteris? Cateris, gotcha. Yeah, we'll go. Oh, I love the stairs. Oh, shit. I do love me some, some moody Ridley Scott elevators. That's for damn sure. This is 100% masking the loading screen, but it's ni it's really, really nice to look at. Oh, 
wonder what this place is going to be themed like now. Oh, charge door. Oh, it's like a, like a mining world! Oh no! A hot mining world. <gasps> I don't think I'm supposed to be here right now. I don't think this is very, um, hospitable to little Samuses like me. I mean, there's only two Doris here and they both kill me, so I, th I think I just leave. I think that's it. I gotta get some suit stuff. Really cool music here, though. <gasps> Wait a second. Oh, but I need- I need ball! Wait a second. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Literally, why? What is the point? I'm doing my, my best to try and not sound like a, like a fucking Aaron Hansen moment here. Because I'm sure, were I a Metroid liker, I don't know, I just want to hear like somebody's perspective from someone who does like, from a design perspective, these featureless blocks that are just without any hint, destructible. Because as somebody who's not familiar with Metroid, my immediate instinct is, wow, this sucks and is really, like, unfriendly and unintuitive. And my, my feeling is that the only reason it's here is because the old ones did it. When maybe, like, you wouldn't really lose anything were it excised. But what I want to know is, like, that's my opinion as somebody who doesn't like it and doesn't understand it. I want to know, like, someone who understands it, what, what their perspective on that might be. Yeah, these things really want you to follow up your counters with shots, otherwise nothing happens. <gasps> Hi, Adam! Hi, cool neon room. No, as soon as you access a new area, there's always stuff to do. Okay. Uploading data. Siri! Oh, I missed Siri. It's been so long. Powered by thermal energy. Magna is pumped from the planet's interior and routed from there. I have located the central routing system for the Magna. It is here in Cataris. Samus, your current suit cannot protect you as you explore Cataris. The extreme heat of the lava is too much for it. Under no circumstances should you enter high temperature areas. Got it, understood. I know the shuttle somewhere above here. Use it to find a path forward. There is one other thing to discuss. It is your new Phantom Cloak ability. The Phantom Cloak prevents the Emmy from detecting you. Oh so god, that's right, we're in a new zone! Emmy's gonna be back! Bypassing them is also an option. Use this to reach your objective. Uh oh. Note that using the Phantom Cloak severely decreases your mobility and direct contact with an enemy will still result in capture. The Phantom Cloak is useless once an enemy sees you. You will need to evade capture until it gives up pursuit. The Phantom Cloak can remain active after your aim has been depleted. It will consume your life energy instead. Consider it a desperate measure. Remember, it cannot drain your energy down to nothing. Judicious use of this technique will improve your probability of survival. Adam. They're fucking our pussies! God damn it. I'm very sad that Audemon blocked that. That's a treasure. Oh god. More cubes? Ah. Oh. Oh! Gross! Why? Oh! I don't- I hate the way that thing moves and looks. Just awful, all around. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, I did a little bit of this in, in the other area, but I'll, I'll need to find like a... Oh. It's an interesting little puzzle, but I can't like reactivate this. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, like, if, if they're telegraphed, I'm cool with that. But from, from most of what I can tell, a lot of the time, they're, they're just not. And that just leaves me really lost and confused. So, is the purpose of the melee attack then only for, like, stunning? Because they can never seem to kill things with melees. It just makes them easier to shoot, I guess? I don't know. Oh boy. Oh, this is a cool looking room. Love the colors in here. I guess the point isn't so much to, like, just very, very sloppily spam X, but there's, like, there's, like, a, a blinking flash that you're supposed to be reacting to, I guess, is the main point there. Yeah, and then when you get the flash, that's what triggers the cutscene. And every enemy has its, like, own, like, time like that. Hey, maybe I'll just leave, though, actually. Diagonal walls. Yeah, it's not really an attack in and of itself. Okay. Do it. I know you want to. You want to do it so bad. Yup. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, there's going to be a lot of this, isn't there? You know, it's interesting. As, as an outsider to Metroid, I saw Samus Returns' introduction of the 360-degree aiming to be like, oh wow, that would make games with moving and aiming. I don't know why every game just doesn't have that, but the problem with this is that now they're designing the games around you having that ability, and I, I'm not like precise enough to do that. Were I playing a game that previously had those limitations and I suddenly had 360-degree aiming, yeah, that would be awesome, because the game wasn't designed around it, and then I could break it. But now I just actually have to get good. And, uh, that's not really my style. <gasps> oh, you can parry those, too. Interestingly enough. Uh-oh. Donkey Kong! Whoa, look at like the- are those robots? I don't know what those are, but they sure do have the fat ass. Sure would like to, to see one up close one day. Ugh. Or maybe it's like armor, I don't know. Oh, that's a hot room, though. Oh god, any room, here it comes! And so the film grain returns. Whoa! Yo, this dude looking like an iPhone 5C. Well, the Phantom Cloak is activated and Emmy cannot see or detect Samus. Remain cautious. Colliding with an Emmy will still result in capture. Oh boy, I'm sure, I'm certain it will. Charge door? I need to be careful of that red dot, though. Oops! <laughs> Immediately! I thought it was just gonna, like, stop and look or something. I guess if it doesn't see that I'm there, there's no reason for it to stop. 
Like, it, it would basically just be like walking through a glass door from Emmy's perspective. I don't see why... What? I, I like, bounced off of it. That counts. Ugh. I think it was crazy that I actually did get the counter. Like, really early on. See, I, I just need to fucking start moving immediately. Wait, why, why? It's locked? It's one way? Uh-oh. Uh... Uh... It's fine, I can run, I can run. Who's asking? Who's asking? What the dog doing? Open up! locked behind me? Am I safe? I'm not safe yet. I'm not safe yet. Not out of the woods. Not out of the woods. Count your fucking blessings. Holy shit. I hate these slow doors. They all- the, the, the ones that are like a little bit slower to open, they only put those in here. They know exactly what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, it's, it's okay, I'm back to liking this game again. I mean... I don't know. When I'm outside of the Emmy rooms, I'm lost and I'm frustrated. And then when I'm in the Emmy rooms, I'm scared and I want to die. So I'm not, like, enjoying either half of the experience in, like, the traditional sense. But, you know, if you said I like it, I would say yes, I like it, it's good. These are, for the most part, the emotions that the game wants me to be feeling. So there's only so much you can say about that. You can have multi-layered cubes? What kind of society is this? This is just too much. This is too far. I can't even go here. It's too hot right now. But this is a one-way door. Uh-oh. Maybe I can climb and then I can, like, break this. Nope. Rats. Well, I redirected something. There's gotta be a little bit more going on that I'm giving this credit for. Maybe I just gotta go back into the Emmy area. There's, like, nothing near this that I, that I would... Yeah, access closed. It's not happening. Hi, Emmy. Did you miss me? <laughs> I don't see any red dots yet. Uh oh. Let's go through the little fucking tunnel. <gasps> it can do ah! I didn't know I could open those. Eh? Hmm. Well, yet again, once you redirect the flow, you can't re-redirect it. So, this was open before, but I don't think it is anymore. Notice that when you crouch, you can't pan the, the view like you can in regular areas. Oh, hello! Oh, fuck! Cool animation, as always, but, uh... Don't, don't know much about the rest. Oh, shit, the fake out? Oh! <gasps> oh! Okay! 
Okay, 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 okay. What? They're just fucking changing the shape of the level as they please. And you're telling me no one bothered to stop these lunatics? The counter master strikes again. I'm on like ultra hard mode as well because I'm doing this with like significant input delay. I'm just feeling it. Hmm. I gotta follow these pipes is what I gotta do. But it's tricky because sometimes the enemy can get in your way. So you gotta think about, you know, not invoking its ire. Oh, well, this is where I came from, though. This is a glowing white area, so it does seem to suggest secrets, does it not? Interesting. I'm sure that's for later. Nope. Oh, this is a new way out. Okay, now we're talking. Ooh! Phalanx looking ass. Nice! Yeah, that feels good. Dual elevator? Is it so? Hey. Maybe it needs like a, a flow going to it. It's not like on yet. Ugh. These slime noises. My god. This is also a hot room. I don't think I should fuck with that. What is this for? Huh? Oh, I want to be turning it lots and lots and lots. Now we're talking. Look at like the huge arms in the background that are like lifting that up and down. That's cool. Yeah, I haven't heard some, some good noises in quite a long time, but those kind of take the cake. Oh, there's going to be a bunch of this on the way up, too. Uh, I'm just going to assume that there's a lot of purple stuff waiting for me at the top. That's better. That's much better. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, we're on this side now. Cool. All right. I hope I'm, like, redirecting these in, like, like a smart way. Because doesn't this, like, affect things behind me as well as in front of me when you do that? Because it definitely did with that Emmy area. Alright, you know what? I'll play your game. Right, so now we have this path opened up between the two sides. Uh, I think I want to take the opposite elevator. See where that takes- oh boy, where that takes me. What if I, like, let out a charge shot? If it'll, like, go through all of them? No. Just explode on impact. Oh, the purple came to me from all the way up there, though. That's neat. I thought you had to, like, get closer for it to work. Jeez. Close quarters. Wait. No, but it'll close behind me, and then, and then they won't be able to do shit. Ah, but this is a hot room. So it seems they can do shit after all. Or not. How did you come back? All right, let's see. What's around here? What's around here? Charge beam door? Sounds like a plan. Right, okay. Whoa, look at this thing. 
Well, missed your chance. Should have looked. God, so much of this shit is just begging for more fall. Wait a second, or is it? I'm different. Yeah, it's all this down here too, though. This is some good looking shiny metal if I do say so myself. Alright, what's down here? Alright. This might be begging for Morph Ball a little more... ...non-negotiably, shall we say. Hmm. Nothing here, I don't think. So, this was just a little room for a reward. That's a hot room. This is interactive device used that turned on the elevators. Elevators bring me up to here. Hot zone, hot zone. Hmm. Any zone door. Looks like there's a lot going on over here still. Maybe this is opened up now? Yeah, open thermal trap door. Okay. Now we're talking. All right, back to Emmy it is. Uh, yep, looks good. Oh shit, it's right there. Why? How do you know these things? Nice. Now we're talking. Oh, and then the exit's right here. Yeah, nice try. I almost called it Emmy Femi. <laughs> I mean, if you ever become like a, like a giant robot with a big needle in its face, um, and you see me come into your, uh, cube room, no, you didn't. You didn't see that. No, this definitely needs an elevator to be active. Uh, alright. Well, are there any other any exits? There are? There is a door, like, right beneath this that I could use. Let's see what's up with that. Oh. Oh, <gasps> what? Huh? What? Where am I? What year is it? I love these sections where you're like both in like separate areas, but you're like racing to the same place. <gasps> oh fuck. Wait. 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 Oh shit. That was mercy. Oh, I love the layers of like... The same shape, but like disappearing into the fog. I wish I was a giant robot. SMH SMTH! Okay, that wasn't that bad. Whoa, look at this thing. That's me. <gasps> Ow! These guys are little fuckers. I don't know what it is about Metroid games and they always have little bitches crawling around the ceiling that are really hard to shoot. And by ceiling, I mean floor. The Prime is full of that too. And they're not even, like, that dangerous. They're just, like, annoying. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we as a society had kind of evolved past the need for low health beeping noises, but whatever you say, I guess. Uh, hot zone. These are already on, though. I don't know if I want to be up here just yet, though, because I saw stuff down here that might be of interest. Hmm. Is that a fucking person down there, or is that, like, trash? I see. I don't think there's any need to worry about it for now, unless I can get in through there, which could be worth a quick check. Oh no, that, that's, that's Morph Ball. 
every time I think I'm being smart avoiding these. Sheesh. Looks like you get more energy back too when you do the the way it wants you to do it. take any damage from any of that. That was like the most reckless shit I've seen in my life. Oh, <gasps> Adam Room! <laughs> God! I've got an iPhone 4S around here somewhere. Uh, if like, if I found it, and I found like the 30 pin cord for it, it would sound exactly like this. Its ability to configure itself to fit into narrow spaces is a standard feature. Any is that so? Will likely be so as it pursues you. You are not capable of destroying their armor plating. This would be true even at your full capabilities. Damn. You are faced with overwhelming power. Accept your helplessness. Jeez. Okay. Study helplessness and accepted. And use the phantom cloak to advance. There are risks even here. The phantom cloak reduces your mobility and consumes more in when you move or shoot. Oh! Still your best chance at survival. I didn't know that. That's handy advice. Do not hesitate to destroy an enemy whenever you... But I, but I want to hesitate! This was not one of your original priorities. However, I see no other way to accomplish your goal. These existential threats cannot be sanctioned. These existential threats cannot be sanctioned. Sanction this, Adam. <gasps> Whoops! Oh, the lighting in there is sick as fuck, though. Gives me... I don't know why this is my first thought, but, but DuckTales remastered vibes? If that makes any sense. <sighs> I'm taking off for the night. Hope you're enjoying the game so far, Griffin. Oh, I, I... I guess so. Have a good night, Sam. See you later. Monkey, 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 monkey. <gasps> oh! Ah! It looks like each of those different scenes, depending on the scenario that you get, has, like, different windows of timing for it. It's really interesting. A lot of like, very mean-spirited dead ends as well. Oh god. Again with this. <gasps> Phew! Whoa, look at this place. Oh, this is the map room! Wow, I've already, like, kind of... I wouldn't say, like, I've thoroughly covered the ground here, but I've... Uh, as far as, like, the, the bigger, non-specific squares, I've definitely, like, touched more of it than I thought I did. Uh, elevator's still off. I bet the switch is on this side, though. Alright, I'll counter it. If that is your wish. Oh, right back into the Emmy room. What the hell does this thing do? Guess you need, like, something that shoots in three directions at the same time. 
See, like, that's the kind of impassable door that I'm okay with, though, where at least it's, like, it's clear, like, why it's closed and what you need to get to open it. Hmm. I see. Yeah, I do like me some lava fire levels with like really stark bright silhouettes. That shit rules. So that should shoot on the other elevator then, yeah? Yup. Nice. Oh, yeah, I was about to say that like looking at the way the, the lava is animated, but there's like similar things you gotta you gotta delta P the lava into other like areas. And now it's not a silhouette anymore, so I guess that means it's no longer a hot room. God, these tanks are taunting me! They know I want it so bad. Oh, all the fire is off here, even. Interesting. Well, back to any land. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go! Oh! Ah! This really should be what is expected, though. I think the fact that I've managed to do that three times is a goddamn miracle. But I really shouldn't set my expectations for how often I should normally be able to do that based on that. Or did I do it four times? Oh god, the door is locked? Well, that's a handy way to make my escape, that's for sure. Yeah, and then we'll get all the way down here. Oh, or the robot will just tell at me where I am right away. Can't believe they locked the doors. What a dick move. Yeah, look at that, there we go. Wait, so how do these Emmy spaces interconnect? I guess they kind of do. The space that I'm in is more of just like a... a bubble within the larger Emmy zone that surrounds it. Oh boy. I need to see like where I can go now that I couldn't before. Looks like there's some unexplored stuff over here maybe? Emmy zone door. But I've already been here as well. Where's like, what, what's the what's the big picture? Where do I need to be going right now? There's the elevator, used interactive device, save room, total recharge station. Uh, what's like some new shit? What's what, what's like something that I haven't gone to before? Seems to me like up is pretty significant. Uh, there's some question mark, question mark, question mark over here, and a whole bunch of hot rooms. Hmm. Yeah, I want to see what connects to this, but I'm not really sure what does. Like, if I do keep going in this direction, I don't really see much... Actually, if I can get through this beam block... Yeah, I think this room isn't hot anymore, so maybe this is where I want to be. Alright. Let's go right from here. Yep. I love slurping cubes. You know, it used to be that we ate the ice, but now the ice eats us. Do you want to, like, get me or what? No? Alright, I think I'm going the right way here. Yep. Stun stop! I was using that, I'm walking here. Yeah, it's not hot anymore. 
It's brown. The brown one. It's the most fun you can have in a deadly chamber. You can't even counter these things when they do pop up out of the ground. They just fuck with you and that's their only purpose. Ugh, speaking of. But now like, I gotta like hop against the ceiling. In every little spot to fill it in. For such a narrow corridor, it's, it's still not even narrow enough to fill in on one go around. Energy part required? Oh god, there's heart pieces in this now? Well, I thought I was onto like, like a main path, but that's still nice to have. Especially considering that there's more stuff to explore still. Oh, shit. Okay, what does that connect to? I think if I go down here and there's another door, like, above me that I could go through? So if I find a way to do that, then I think that either gives me a full energy tank or just missiles. I thought I had an E on it, though, but it was, like, a different color, so I don't know what it means exactly. Nope! Straight up full energy tank. Nice. That's huge. That's gonna go a long way. I've been uh, in like a beeping state a lot more often than I care to admit, so that that's like good news. Hello. Hmm. Is this just a charging station though? There's no other rooms adjacent to it, so I, I guess that's the case. It's driving me mad that I can't fill in those squares closer to the ceiling though. Alright. Well, this path splits in two, so there's more to check out this way. Such as... A magma redirect? Yes, please. I just, like, zip it into places, even when I don't need to. Oh shit! So you actually can get them in midair. You just need to time your shinies. But you know me, I do things sloppy and sloppy only. Oh, this area's got some cool backgrounds. Oh, I forgot these things explode. Yeah, for like a, like a lava or like mine area, there's actually like quite a diverse array of like color used here. It's never just blacks and grays and browns, which is already like three times what I would usually expect. Oh, I can like shortcut through here now. Oh wait, no, that's one way. Shit. Unless? Yeah, one way. Okay. But there's like all sorts of like oranges and blues and reds too. Like I'm just thinking back to like the um the mine area in Prime, the phase on mines. And thinking that that was pretty visually uninteresting. So when I understood that this was a mine area, I'm like, okay, not too excited for this. But this, this place actually kind of rules. Wait, purple room? Purple room? I like how you can like stand on it with one foot and that'll still depress it. That's cool. But I didn't really like get any items. Daron. Maybe not yet. Whoa, look at that background. I don't know. I could, but I feel like there's more work to do here. power beam door. Uh, I guess that's fair. Out of the abilities that I currently have, I think I've done all I can, actually. Because it's either hot rooms or... Wait a second. 
Wait, I have the power beam. Wait, no, this this has the three thingies on it. And then once you release that lock, then it turns into a power beam door, I guess? So what is this? This one doesn't have the three things on it. So I could go down here, but that might be like a long detour for, you know, who knows what. Hmm. I guess if it was a boss, they would put like a, like a big old symbol on it. And that's not the case with any of this stuff, so... I guess for now, I'll, I'll travel? I just get the impression that, like... I'm moving through shit a little too fast? Oh, this is cool. I hope there's like a whole bunch of these from getting between the different areas. These are really, really nice looking loading screens. Um, but I don't, well, how do you guys feel? Does this seem early for the third area in like the first session? I was just expecting to like spend a lot more time in each like zone, but I'm cool with this. There's definitely going to be a lot of backtracking involved either way, so I have to assume that that's what this is all about. Because maybe I'll, like, get something here. Either a ball, which makes the first area meaningful again. Or shoot in three, which makes... It's like, they're right here. I'm definitely going to get the shoot in three. It's going to teach me this, and then I'll turn right back around, and then I'll have more secrets to do. Oh, what? What do these mean? They look like eyes, like little cat eyes. Yeah, I would assume that you'd be revisiting the areas you were only in briefly. Can I, what? Oh. There we go. Not that that really does anything, but she was like, kind of automatically going up this like, one block gap. Which is a cool thing that she can do. I just want to stand like, at the edge of that step. Well, this already blows, but here's the thing. Here's the thing is that I also thought that when I first got to the second place that it blew. But then of course I realized that there was things that I could break and then everything changed. I don't know what that symbol means. I, like, boomerang? I don't know. I got this funny jump, that's about it. This is pretty on pace for 2D Metroid. And there is a lot of going back to old areas and uncovering new paths to proceed. But I haven't gotten too far into Dread yet, so, you know. Well, April, I think you've already gotten, like, a like a better head start than I do. Huh. I mean, it's only these two rooms. I don't know what other mystery could be awaiting me, unless I can, like, just break the window here and jump out, but I doubt it. I don't know if I didn't call it a window. Yo, Samus, just step into the Z-axis, forehead. I don't know. This looks to me like a lot more restricted in terms of the options you have. Unless, of course, you don't want to kill that thing and you instead want it to, like, follow you up the- oops! Like, maybe you need to get that enemy to, to shoot the symbols? I don't know what that means. I can't read... I can't read letters. I can't read shapes. Yo, if this place is called Daron, where are all the cows? Where's all the milk? All right, you know what? Oh wait, I'm patient. Mm -hmm. 
No, I don't think this thing can go around corners. It looks like it just hits a hard edge and it'll, like, turn around. I am curious to see where it goes if I just, like, leave it here. If it turns around when it hits that 45 degree angle. No, it doesn't want to go up that wall. Okay, so that's its, like, determined range. I definitely can't go that into going anywhere else. You gotta work for the milk. I'm going to bed. Good night. Have a good night, April. I mean, this has got to mean something, though. Something to the right. Have I done these ones? No, these are the same symbols. Interesting. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. So this is what's happening now, I guess. I want to see if, if my theory about this is correct with, like, the lasers. I want to know what that thing's deal is. You know, if I, if I can make it actually connect... No. No, it doesn't work. Okay. Least I know now. Won't have to try it every single time anymore. No shortcuts here. Alright, alright. Now we're making progress. Let's see. This isn't a... Yeah, just a regular save room. Not Adam yet. I think I want to get to like the like the second major boss. I don't know when that is, but it feels like a Sonic feels like a pretty good checkpoint to to strive for. Oh, they just keep coming, huh? Oh god. Oh, all right. We didn't even defeat the Emmy in the the Oh shit. Oh, fuck you. Not a fan of that one. But yeah, we're gonna have two Emmys on my ass now. Oh no. Ha ha ha. How unfortunate. Hmm. This is a very big room and I feel like I touched very little of it. I'm gonna try and spend more time here if I can. This place looks like a fucking Metal Gear level. Yeah, just more of these doors. Oh, shit! You know what? These actually remind me of, like, a, a certain enemy in Ori. Were there those, those, those guys that would, like, roll up into a ball, and they would, like, roll into you and fucking explode? And they were, like, really, they did a lot of damage? That's the vibe I get. I guess I can't use this because the room is turned off. So we gotta find the power. How we gotta find the princess with the power going out? Spiderwebs? <gasps> huh? Huh? What is it? What is it? What the f- What the fuck is that? What did that? Oh, this is awful. Hey, you remember what I said about Metroid Prime having dark rooms and them being, like, the most unpleasant parts of the game because they were so fucking scary? This is awful. This is awful foreshadowing! Like, I would rather this be, like, a one-off thing that lasts for a few seconds and I would go, ah! And then that'd be fine. But they're gonna milk this. They're gonna build this up. Oh, <gasps> Daron! They're milking it! It's happening! Smile. Femi. Femi. Why are you smiling? There's there's nothing to smile about right now. Doors turned off. This is like when at at Facebook, how nobody could open the doors, because they were all like keycard doors. 
And they just didn't have regular keys, and nobody could get in. I'll tell you what it is. It's a it's a it's a Five Nights at Freddy's door. Sealed door. Sealed door. Huh. There's gotta be a way to cross over into one of these other spots, though. Maybe a cube of some kind. Yup. Can we talk about that? That's so fucking dumb. Five Nights at Freddy's or Facebook? Five, five Nights at Facebook and then Mark Zuckerberg comes after you! Alright, well I think this turns the power on. Activating milk. <sighs> well, okay, maybe this means that now that the lights are turned back on, that the scary, the scary d denting doorman, don't think it, don't say it, won't get me anymore, smile. My workplace has that, but there's a guard that just buzzes you in if it doesn't work. But buzz suggests something electronic, so if the power's out, what do you do? Oh god. The hooligans are awake. Oh, Metroid Blast Ball! Okay. <gasps> At long last. I waited for so long. <laughs> the Wide Beam. How about Facebook? How the fuck do you not have a backup channel? Three beams simultaneously. So does this just like become my new shot from now on? Oh, fuck yes. That rules. And it'll make it much so much easier to um to find the the stupid cubes in the in the walls and the floors. You can cover so much ground so much faster. Nice. Let's see. There's a couple of those things though that are like They're not they're there, but they're not attached to like any doors, like this. Ah they're just like blocks you can push, I guess now. Okay. Interesting. I could see some cool puzzles coming about from that. Oh look at like what the the walls here. They're like there's something that's like damaged them, but the way in which they've been damaged is like this kind of like... What's the word that I'm looking for? There's a certain like... Like... Geology thing? It's like a kind of stone that has those like very like... Distinct 90 degree shapes to it. I can't be doing puzzles when there's bitches on the floor. Oh boy, here comes third Emmy. Oh, he can just manually unlock it too. Okay. That's gonna drive me crazy. Bismuth! Bismuth. It's called Bismuth. That's what I was thinking of. It's a, it's a Bismuth pattern. I don't know what this one's gimmick is gonna be either. Because they've all like kind of behaved a little differently, so oh god. This one's gonna have even more going for it, and I've barely even gotten used to the to the other new one. Oh, it's a yellow one. <gasps> oh, it's a speedy boy! Like these things needed to be any fucking faster. <gasps> and he's a madman, help us, save us! I wonder if there's ever going to be an Emmy whose gimmick is just that there's two of them and they can like flank you and shit. That'd be interesting. Oh dear.
Wait, so that just comes full circle? I guess the only reason I'm here was for the... Where did I get the item, even? Interactive device used. This is where it was dark, this is where I got the item. Right. Um, I don't know what's in that corner, though. If I maybe should explore that Emmy area a little more thoroughly. But I'd be risking a lot by doing so. Um... No, this is, like, right near this, so I'll, I'll go back to Cataris, and I, I'll probably have more opportunities to use the, the wide beam over there than I do here. And then, when I beat the boss in the World 2, then it'll give me another new item that I can use here in World 3 and make even more progress. It's like a factory. There's, like, little manufacturing arms. Huh. Still haven't figured out what breaks those, either. Nice. This game really knows what it's doing. It picks the right moments to pull the camera out and let you drink in the scenery. Like a... Not dissimilar to a refreshing glass of milk. I've got... I've got the, the Otis picture in here, right? Yeah, just put that in the background. Samus is just like traveling and then it just like whizzes by. <laughs> Alright, I saw a bunch of those like obscuring just straight up doors. So this wide shot's gonna be a big deal. This monorail reminds me of Oddworld. Oh, did, did the new one on PS5 or whatever finally come out? That's been a thing that's, you know, been going on in current events of Oddworld, right? Alright, let's see. So what's, what's awaiting us here? I mean, this seems to be the closest thing to look at, so I guess I'll go that way. No, this is a place I've been. Okay. I was about to bring up redirecting magma. Yeah. And what do you know? This even serves as a shortcut to getting to that Emmy area that I pointed out even faster. This has got to be what it wants me to do. Okay, so now this one isn't as fast, but it crawls through ho through holes. The question is whether or not each new Emmy ability stacks on top of the previous Emmys. So like the fast one can also crawl through gaps, or each gimmick is like unique. Oh god. What is it building? Oh, look at that! When you put on the cloaking thing, the camera actually pulls it in. So you get to see less of your surroundings when you do that. It's an interesting trade-off. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, shit! Phew! Oh, another one of these, okay. And now I can hit this with triple the firepower when I charge my shots. Oh, and these are the things that give me the, um, the Emmy Blaster. The Omega Blaster. Oh, I thought I had a good thing going. Just, like, staying in place a bunch. I was wondering if I got to shoot three missiles or, or, or not, but I guess it's still one at a time. Oh, even regular shots will damage us now, I think. I don't think they did that before. Oh god, I'm about to die here. I bet these rooms are gonna get really hard later on. Like, they're just gonna keep throwing more and more of these kind of modular cannons into these spaces, and then I'll be in real trouble. It released a while ago, and then no one said anything about it. Oh. I thought that, like, still wasn't out yet for some reason. All right. All right, Omega Blaster. You asked for it. Oh, 
Oh, oops. <laughs> I let go of the shoulder buttons before I let go of the, the Y button. That's better. That sounds like Oddworld, to be fair. Looks like it's working. This one has like shorter ears too. The other one has like longer bits. Oh god, I'm not charging right now. I gotta find a, a more opportune spot to charge. God, I love when they like just get up and just like start to tower over you menacingly like that. And then they remind you how fucking huge they are. Smile! <sighs> Bye, Emmy. Bye! I can't believe I've already killed three of these. It's not fair. <gasps> the Morph Ball! I'm sorry. Eat shit. It was worth it. To get through tight spaces, press the circle button to slide! Yup. ZL or tilt down when crouched to transform. This changes everything, folks. And now it's not steamy anymore. Bye, Omega Cannon. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's so many places I can go. There's a hole. God, there's so much shit here. So many tunnels. I can barely even process all of it. Oh god, but now it's deciding to arbitrarily lock doors that I just used. So I have to find like a new way forward, I think. Damn. Looked secrety to me, but maybe I'm using a my new Super Mario Bros. brain. Yeah, this is cool though. I really do like how these Emmy areas are like... I suppose, like, paced? If that makes sense? Just like the structure of like, you explore them a little bit, and then you're weak and you're powerless, and then... You get a new ability, you come back to the same Emmy areas, you un open up more of it, and then there's like, then you come back and you defeat them. Gotta tell you, not so much a fan of these uh, dead ends here though, I'll tell you that. Like this shit that's closing behind me. This is ominous. Oh, <gasps> I can go in here now! Oh, it wants me to go inside so bad. Is this Vor? Okay, but I can't go into a hot room yet. Morph Ball don't do that. I'll give it a peek, maybe. Or go up here, maybe? Ho <laughs> ho! I don't know what's going on here. There is a save room here, and it's a dead end, so I am getting the impression that a boss is nearby. Sure would be neat if that was the case. Because this is like the first stream of Dread, I wanted to um give it more time, you know, four hours instead of two. So if I can do like one boss per regular stream, and two bosses on this stream, I think that would be good. That'd be a good a good pace. So I don't think I can get up there, that was the thing. That was like, like wall jump. Oh shit, that actually works. Oh, and then I can get to this thingy! Missile plus tank acquired, holy shit! That's a lot at once. Yeah, so what, what do you do? What is your deal? What? Oh, it's a teleport station! That's what the diamonds mean! Um... I don't know, that's a good question. Do I want to use that right now? There's still a good chunk of this unexplored, but it looks like the remainder is gonna be like all red shit. And then maybe some stuff over here. I don't know. Charge room door. Hmm. 
That is interesting. This seems to be where it's directing me to as soon as I got the Morph Ball, so maybe I'll just use it. Because there was, like, a lot of shit that I was complaining about, like, it being Morph Ball-like and really wanting to do that. So I may as well go back to those places, like, at least while it's on my mind. I don't know if it'll take me to any bosses, if there are any other, like, key items beyond the obvious Morph Ball spots that have been, like, clawing for my attention, but we'll see, we'll see. I don't even know where in Arteria this is going to drop me. What? Ow. I'm safe underwater. Yeah, okay. These things are hazardous then. I thought it was the water that was getting me. I don't know where I am in this place. I guess I'm all the way back over here, which I was trying to get to at some point or another. There's a lot of Emmy stuff still untouched, too. There's this. There's so many ways to go. I don't even know which way I should go first. I just saved. Love these little fuckers. I wasn't sure about how I would feel about this whole heart container thing. Where you need to get like smaller pieces to form a hole. But I'm cool with it actually, I've decided. Whoa! Sadly, this is one Metroid. That was so cool! There was like extra airtime, like a hit stop. That was cool. But yeah, that's off limits. So I guess that's our next thing to work towards now that we have the Morph Ball finally. Oh shit, there's more of these down here! Look at that. I wonder if that's going to affect stuff down here or up there. Oh shit, I guess that answers my question. He just turned on the fucking Ori lasers. Uh. Samus! Maybe, maybe turn it back off, maybe! Oh, I got a ball through here. Boy! <gasps> oh, dear. Oh, it's getting hotter! I'm, I'm, I'm taking damage! Uh. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's getting hot in here. I think I'm safe now. I don't know what these blue things do either, so I'm going to assume it's related. Jeez. So is this just like a forever hot zone now? What the hell's going on here? Well, that sure is a hot zone. <gasps> Item! What could you be? Is this gonna help me beat the heat? Oh, is it gonna be a new suit? that. The yellow and white look great. The Varia suit. Fuck yeah. That's major. That's so cool. Okay, so not lava proof, but good enough for going into these zones. And there were a lot of these spicy rooms that I was not allowed in before, so this is huge. I don't know what I should be doing in this room, though. There's kind of just the one guy. 
Like, okay, great, and now what? Uh... So it's not lava proof, so I can't get that. Jeez. This sure went south fast. I wonder if there's like any other alternate routes that maybe I didn't touch through here. Like maybe. It's a very mysterious place. Oh yeah, I guess this is new, okay. Nice going, Samus. You burned down the research facility. I hope you're happy. Nice going, Samus. You ate all the balls. I hope you're happy for what you did. Huh. Well, this looks very one way, doesn't it? Oh yeah, now we're back in the teleport room. This is actually a recharge station, too. I thought this was the warper, but it's just located directly above it. Alright, well that opens up a lot down here. Not just warp ball stuff, but also hot stuff, too. Wait, what? Oh! This is like, like an isolated space, I guess. It looks like if I come back here from like another method, then I can connect this. But it looks like as is, the, the I'm trapped with the rubble. So I guess it wants me to go back to World 2 first before getting super into this. I guess I'm cool with that. I came for ball, but I got suit. I don't know, though. The, um, the Emmy mazes in World 2 have, um... A lot of morph ball tunnels in the Emmy zones, but I don't know if there was much that really like demanded the morph ball in the the actual overworld non Emmy areas. Whereas in the first area, it's kind of the inverse. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll see what that opens up because I was just talking about this hot zone down here that I was kind of disappointed about that being inaccessible. Now look at me now. Am I not allowed? I'm allowed. Fuck you, I'm allowed. There we go. That's better. I was- Griffin was about to get very cranky if I couldn't get in there. Eh? What is roaring? I hope this game can forgive that damage boost and I didn't just trap myself into something that I shouldn't have been allowed to do. OH MY GOD I CAN SHOOT THROUGH WALLS?! That might be the first time I've ever let those things hit me. Oh god, this must have been the thing that was pounding on the walls! I like how the music is more intense now that we're in here now, too. So afraid. The way it was like pounding on the wall, I wonder how big it is. It seemed kind of people sized. Maybe it has like just hands, small hands. The way this thing roars specifically when you break shit almost makes you think that like. The boss is the level, I don't know. Oh god. This is gonna be a proper pain, isn't it?
There we go. Phew. I wasn't sure what the range on that one was. There's a lot to be afraid of here. Oh, but you can also parry it too? For a huge amount of missiles and health? Yes, please. already filled in. Apparently there's a secret in here, though. It's probably down there, though. Maybe something, some gimmick where you can, like, drain the lava. Oh, this thing here! Yeah, that's not happening right now, that's for sure. So then why... Yeah, this is below where I just went. I guess I have the option to go up, but I can also just go down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, fade to black. This is going to be a boss battle. When the motion blur turns on, you know shit's about to go down. Love this gradient of smoke from blue to orange. Oh! Was Kraid pounding on the walls? She just doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't really know Kraid's gimmick, but Sam is shooting into its mouth seems like a pretty good start. Eww. So, I heard that people were, like, cranky. When they, like, put Kraid in the trailers, I was like, what the fuck, they spoiled it! Now, I could be wrong on this. Isn't Kraid, like, the wispy woods of the Metroid? Oh, the claw is gross! But, like, the wispy woods of the Metroid series? Like, he shows up a lot, doesn't he? What do you want from him? Oh, I just gonna use charge shots. Charge shots in the face seems to do the trick. Who's and more health that I'm saving here by hitting these? Again, I don't know why I've got Sonic on the mind, but this is a bit of a Metropolis Zone moment. There we go, now I'm getting some hits in, finally. Two energy tanks later. Oh, but some of these are flaming, so you can't avoid the flaming ones. You can only break- oh, we'll open the solid ones. Got it. And we're kind of making some headway health-wise. Energy tank and a half. A little bit more. A little bit less. <laughs> Get a snap. Uh oh. Oh, that was a fun flip. Oh, look at the look at the belly. The graphics are too good. Ah, don't do the close up. Gross. You can like see the hollow cavity inside. It's too much. Science has gone too far. Oh, ew! Well, I'll tell you what, it's a good thing you got all those missile upgrades, that's for sure. Oh, the slime noises! Oh, shit! good first attempt though i say i lost a lot of those um energy tanks really early on because i didn't know what i was doing but uh hopefully i should be able to just cruise right through now that i know what's going on with that
Like, I kind of get the picture by now. Someone just fucking bon bonked me. I'm doing pretty okay for the most part, though. I'm like 99% full. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe like 5 6 full. Ugh. I do be making nauseous pal noises when I see that. Disgusting fucking stomach, though. Alright, alright. I'm gonna take this opportunity to, like, stretch, though. Nobody in chat told me to do it, but I'm just gonna... Oh, get cracking, get ready for the next phase here. Is my Joy-Con grip here? I've been playing Split, but I might... Get these in. Just, uh, slot those in. Like so. Yeah. For a, for a true core gamer experience. But you can see, like, the insides of it! That's too much! They couldn't even have, like, the decency to make them, like, just completely black voids. They had to show you what's inside. Oh, you don't, you don't need to charge your shots for this. You can just spam regular shots, and that does the trick. You gotta duck for that. Oh, oh I like ricocheted! Oh my god. I wonder if you're like supposed to climb those. Much like the boss of Aquatic Ruin Zone in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I'm almost dead, actually. Oh wait, it was like grabbing it! It was grabbing its tummy! I think it was like just about to activate something. Damn, that turns around hard. I gotta like... It's weird, I gotta like get used to the controls all over again now that I'm playing it with, with the Joy-Con grip. It feels like I'm holding a totally different controller. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not doing as well as they did the, the first time, because they've lost about a full tank, but uh, we'll see where this goes. Oh! And that's where it's going. Oh, lord. I 
don't think you can find those. Maybe, but I don't know to what end, really. Wait, okay, it's clutching, it's clutching! Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, what? Now, this is just silly! I said that I wanted to find the second boss, and so the... The... The finger on the... On the crate's claw curled. My wish came true. I wonder where you're going to get, like... Oh my god, Griffin. Hasn't even done a single attack and I'm already at 72. Oh, you can, like, do wall jumps is helpful. Wall kicks will work. Because when, like, Kraid's trying to, like, lead his shots, you can, like, confuse where, where those projectiles are going to land. And, like, get more of them to hit the, the wall instead of the floor. It gives you a lot more space to work with. I don't think you need to rely on it too much, though, for this first phase, really. So you can break these with charge shots. So if you can like just get these as they come out, that's actually not that bad. Just like neutralize them before they even become a problem, you know? Yeah, because I was just using like regular sized blasts, but this is actually pretty good. I don't really know if that's doing any damage anymore. At first you can kind of see like like something like spreading, you know? But now it's just kind of the same existing area glowing, so I don't know what it accomplishes much of, if anything. Ooh. 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 Uh oh. Yeah, getting bad cycles with these can be really punishing. The little bounces? Since when? High bounces? Oh, it's getting a little, a little wild with this. Well, that's spreading now. Maybe I'll like just spam missiles this time. Oh yeah, that does way more damage than charge shots. Give me a break. Yeah, you like only want to release the shots when one of them is about to come out so that you can like do damage on the tummy and get the projectile out of the way within one shot. That's my strategy now. That seems to be the way to go. Oh! Barely saw that one coming. I'm getting the hang of this though for sure. Feels good to be getting better at it slowly. Oh! Uh oh. I can, you know, I could have actually used some more health from the little shooties. Alright, okay. If it's gonna go away anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna have to drop early. Drop early! Drop, 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 drop! No! Oh! I was trying to let go, but he jumped up. You know, I wonder. If, um... If it's possible to, like, 
jump off of the spider magnet to avoid a claw and then like turn around in the air and land back on the wall. I mean, I would, I would demonstrate with one of the walls in here, but there's not really like anything with enough space to really like practice it, to try it on. Man, that was a good run though. That was a huge improvement. Fig figuring out that belly button, like made it. Oh, can you use the, the L lock in the air? I think you can. I always like stood on the ground and stood still to do that, but you can like you can like maintain the arc of an existing like you launch into this and then hold L and then you're like moving and you're aiming. That's kind of cool. I did a, a quick little practice with the wall here. It like is kind of possible, but I wouldn't like rely on it as like an actual strategy. I would rather take the pace just like slower and not risk it. But the interesting thing though is that I, I bet it is possible. So it would be very cool to see someone who's not me try that and then like get through this boss and very crazy amount of time. Very crazy quick. Out of the gate with the slime? Okay. Ugh, bad timing on these. That's better. Phew. Look at that! Back to full health! Feels good. I guess you can like shoot the claws out of the air if, you, if one so desired. But that would require like pretty fast response time on aiming. And I don't know if I'm capable of that. Oh. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be enough to get back to full health. Especially once these cycles start falling apart, it's kind of a cascading effect. Oh, well, maybe. <gasps> Look at what do you know? Nice. Okay. Uh oh, not the low bounce. Okay, I'll take seventy nine. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ah, uh, no. It's not gonna happen. I've gotten the chance to do this three times before, so that's kind of huge. Ah, uh, on my last E tank since when? Uh oh. This whole craze doesn't try out any funny business. Shit. 
need to really fight to maintain that cycle. Okay. Well, hey, let's hope I'm almost done, maybe. That's my saving grace, maybe. Maybe drop early, too. Just to be safe. Uh, where the fuck did that one go? I think that was a mistake. Alright, back up to like more than one though, so that's nice. break. There's a spider magnet wall here. I know there's gonna be more. I didn't, like, get a thing. I didn't lovingly grab a part of it that I ripped out. That's not the last of Kraid. No way. Oh. Maybe it is if we just get an item down a hallway. I don't know. Wait, do I have the ability to do this? No, the ones that I can't get through are green blast balls. That's right. Alright, I guess I got Kraid. Alright, cool. Maybe the reason I can't shoot this, this ball will give me the answer. The diffusion beam? I like that it makes you wait for the little jingle to end before the accept prompt comes up. Causes charge beam shots to explode on impact. Press and hold Y to charge and then release to fire. The explosion penetrates through terrain. Neat! Whoa! Yeah, baby. Meaning, I can do things like this. There's like actually a couple of secrets like that. There's some glowing white room, actually right over there that I wasn't able to do, but I should be able to now. Yeah, it's like right there. It's like right there. I will loop back around to get that. I, I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. I'm crazy. I'll do it. I might, like, still die, though, post-boss, so I better watch my fucking back here. Why? Why? There's, like, nothing in there. I guess there's just, like, ledges to grab, maybe? Is the logic there? You know what? Hey, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll go through the, the warp, actually. Maybe there's an idea, huh? Oh, this goes to Daron. I thought it went back to World 1 as well. Hmm. Also, I just realized that these are called teleportals. Very funny, Mercury Steam. I bet, I bet you think you're real clever with that one. These, I love these digital gloopy sounds. There is no space on this planet that is free of slime. Ah. Well, I'm still almost dead, though. Oh, shit. Wait a second. That wasn't Crane banging on the wall. Whatever did that is still here. Oh, hey, I can do this now. Nifty. And this, too. Well, let's hope I can hit this parry. Phew! That's better. That's more like it. I don't even know where the hell I'm going. Oh, no. I'm gonna die trying to get that. I'm not gonna... I'm, maybe there's a save room on this side. I'll be careful. I'll be careful. It's not worth the damage boost, Griffin! Don't do it! Okay, but I need to practice something. If I'm like... 
Like maybe I could jump out and then like ugh. Actually that that's that's true. That's true though. But like that's true. Like I can do it. <gasps> On fucking stoppable tonight, Griff. Ah! Still worth it. There's like lava down there, isn't there though? I'll tell you, I've had just about enough of all the dumb things that go on around here. <gasps> oh, phew! It's such a beautifully smooth sphere. I can't stop looking at it. Siri! All my friends are here! Diron? Diron? You have already uh -oh. activated one generator in this area. There is another sector above you still suffering from the black hole. Find the next generator and reactivate it. Uh-oh. You are slowly recovering your abilities. I have still not established what happened to you physically. Physical amnesia? I thought you already diagnosed me. Your primary objective is to survive. Proceed with the utmost care. Alright. I think this is a good place to leave off on. It's given me, like, larger objectives for Dyron. For Dyron. Give me a break, Dyron. But yeah. I guess whatever this is, we'll be heading towards next. And it's going to be a scary blackout area, so I will happily not do it, smile. <gasps> what if it's, like, a blackout and it's an Emmy area? That would be fucked up. The last thing an Emmy area needs is for somebody to turn the goddamn lights off. Anyways... It's been roughly four hours, so, um, that was, uh, Metroid Dread for tonight. I was a little worried at the start of this because of, um, me getting lost and, like, frustrated a lot at the start. And I was worried, like, uh-oh, what if I only like the Prime games and I don't like the 2D ones? That'd kind of blow. Um, but I think once I, like, got out of the first area, I started, like, clicking into this, uh, a lot more. I think exploring the second and third areas, as long as I don't run into any of those other weird little what-do-I-do moments. Uh, yeah, I, I, like, really started enjoying myself, so, um... I, I, I hate not being able to guarantee more streams in the future. Uh, I should be able to do maybe one or two more over the weekend, um, but it, it's been a long time since I've had, like, like a, just a straight week of evenings that I've been able to, to do that. But I, as soon as that happens, I'll let you guys know. Um, so, that was Metroid Dread. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, you can follow me here on Twitch or on YouTube um, at Griffin Galactic, the full galaxy, where all the VODs are, plus highlights and more. You can also subscribe to me right here on Twitch if you particularly enjoyed the stream. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Pillowfort, and Discord. There is a Discord server. Um, where there are all sorts of channels for you guys to hang out in both on and off stream. I also have a Patreon if you want to support me that way. And, uh, there's art. So I will share that too. Because, uh, I mentioned that I drew this, like, way in advance. But now that Metroid Dread is actually out, I can finally show it. So, here is... Oh, it's so, it's... Look at that, look at that claw. Here's, here's my little Meow Meow. And I, th I thought I was done drawing Metroids for, for like, th th this is the only hot one and I'd be fine. Um, that Chozo dude with the cape, man, come on. What if Cass was huger and meaner? Fuck! Anyways, we'll, we'll see what that dude's deal is soon enough. But for now, um, you guys have a good night. And hopefully, I'll see you guys soon enough. Bye-bye.